Eberron. <clears throat> Last time on Eberron. The party, uh, after having broken three obelisks on the back of this big giant monstar, uh, ventured to the north to the one of the main mining facilities that Witness and company had already laid siege to. With uh, a detachment of Witness's men holding off reinforcements, the party, Witness, and uh, Talon attacked the final obelisk which contained the docent. In the process, they uh, killed Mole number two and a big Warforged Titan and uh, smashed the obelisk and got the docent, it would seem. However, as a result of doing so, the barrier, the obscurement around this facility and this giant turtle thing uh, has <clears throat> has vanished, shattered, and Lemania calls down her wrath upon this place in the form of a now raging storm, the rain pounding down in sheets, thunder happening like every couple of seconds, and just strobe light flashing lightning in the clouds, and... Uh, charging through said storm, some direwolves of alarming size. Uh. As it, <clears throat> you guys stand here and can see those direwolves now barreling towards uh, this uh, now quite distressed turtle, um. Witness sort of waves over to Talon and just says, Take the docent and fly back to the portal. Don't waste any time. If I do not return, you are in charge. And Talon doesn't hesitate, rushes over to the docent, slings it into her little satchel, and just <laughs> instantly starts flying back towards the south. And he turns to you and he says, I don't suppose you have any means of rapid mobility left. Hmm. Uh, I have a couple misty steps, but that's just for me. No. Let me see what I have. Hop in my car. I'm in my mom's car. I can make a rope trick I, if we need to hide. Well. I that's all make, I can do. I can make three people fly, but that's it. Oh, I don't know what spell slots I have left. Hold on. <clears throat> Wait, what's Let this, this thing load up. Oh, this uh. is... Oh, I can't do anything. Well, that is unfortunate. Bye. <laughs> no, um... I mean... <laughs> I suppose you just I mean, running. I have... Wait, no. Maybe enlarge will increase your stride. I have the opposite. I have hold person. I only have one second level slot. I can locate an object. Oh. I can... I can... I can... Regrettably, I do have more of those objects which restore magic. However, I have learned that it is not possible to benefit from such things more than once a day. So that is not helpful right now. 
Okay. I have a dead horse. Then we should be running. Yeah. Well, I will be flying if anyone would care to join me. I would like to fly. Hey, can we just fly half the party and carry the other half? He cast fly on himself, strong. Glinton Grove. And nobody has strength except for you, so. You could do it. And then he just uh, takes a look back at you and then <laughs> takes off. I got 15 right. strength. Well, mm -hmm. I'll carry Peppy. I'm not carrying Dirk. Fuck that guy. Thank you. God damn it! You sling uh, Peppy that over your shoulder. Character. Oh, no, I know. Um, that was also in character. Grove is now hovering about Jane and Dirk are afoot. Tall. I will. Um, okay, well, I'll stay. We're going really fast. With an helping hey, wait, Did anybody grab 19? Wait. What? Put 19? Oh, yeah, and, and 19 is still lying unconscious over there. I'd wake him up. Beat the piss out of him. He's out. <laughs> uh, I oh. increase him. I increase him. Is he we could just throw him in a bag of holding. He's a warforged. Who cares? He doesn't oh, yeah, I bridge. put him in the hole. Yeah, you can put him in the portable hole. All right. He's going to be surrounded by cadavers. <laughs> he wakes up. Did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that? Imagine dying and waking up in just an endly, an empty void with just corpses. Yeah. Is this what it's then, like? Is this then, life then, after death? You only got like two corpses in there. It's not even that many. Uh, three. There's a whole horse. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> and he was like one of the first guys in the new instance. They had to make a. a there's new a, there's room. a big dead horse. There's Grand with a hole in his chest, and there's like like three quarters eaten by that. Things are looking up. Okay, well, I run fast. I become rainbow fast, Jane. All right, it's Jane true. just starts to book it. Um, I fly faster than lovable. I'm assuming Dirk is doing the same, just running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You guys just start trucking it back to the south, back in the direction of that um, portal. As you're beginning to run... <clears throat> You feel the entirety of the land you're standing upon sort of shake, just almost like an earthquake is going on. It just rattles from side to side. You almost, those of you on the ground, uh, make a dexterity check real quick just to see if you wipe the fuck out because it's All it's right. literally like the ground does, just does this, like burr, burr. Just Am I currently being dexterity. held by someone or am I still on the ground? Or I save, no, save, you're, save. I keep you're saying being checks. held you're by you're someone. You're being carried. He's slower because he's carrying you, but you're being carried. My check is the same as my save. I don't know. Ten. I do let Peppy know that uh, in the event two, of five. Bad, nice, I tight. I wonder if I had a touch. Mm. Hold on. I feel like you did. No, I didn't. You didn't. No, I didn't have one marked. Oh. Let's try it again. Good. Better. Much better. <laughs> An improvement. <laughs> Um, <laughs> both you and Dirk are, are sprinting, uh, the guys above soaring through the canopies and somewhat leaving you in the dust at this point. Um, and as you're just sprinting, the, the ground does that bucking thing and both of you guys just get launched, <laughs> uh, oh. in one direction, just sailing what feels like several hundred feet. <laughs> Just from the sudden shock of the uh, rotation of the um, of the body, uh. um, and uh, about to knock you out, aren't I? Um, Murder. Could I misty step and save myself? You have enough time to do so. If if Jane has anything that can stop her momentum from just getting launched, uh, now would be the time. But otherwise, I'm gonna roll some damage. Let's see here. Hmm. What if I thunder wave and make it worse? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. I don't know how physics works. Um, 
what if I uh, hold a person on myself? <laughs> it stops you dead in the air. No, that <laughs> just makes me unable to move. It doesn't yeah, make me unable no, to be moved. Uh, uh, what if I do a Max's earthen grasp on myself? A hand grabs me and keeps me from throwing me. Mm -hmm. Um, give me a, give me a check of your spell casting modifier. Uh, let's see if you get it off fast. Is, is it the attack modifier? Your your charisma thing, yeah. Basically, we're just doing we're basically just doing a attack. I just roll. add charisma. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, that's good. Um, so you get, uh, launched, uh, you see Dirk just, ah! <laughs> teleport himself back to the ground, which is still steadying itself, um, and as you're like, well, I'm about to go for a minute here, <laughs> you, uh, waggle your hands, and the perfectly sculpted, uh, groomed and manicured hand, uh, bursts up out of the ground and wraps around you and just sort of snags you out of the air and keeps you in place. It's like the hand model from Zoolander. Yes. It's a perfect hand. Nails are painted. Yeah. Um. In a glass case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, why male models? You serious? I just told you that a moment ago. <laughs> oh. Uh, never mind. Um. <laughs> All right. Um, our flyboys, we're getting a little bit further Real. ahead, um, you see something somewhat perilous, uh, occur, and what that perilous thing is, is that as you're, uh, soaring in the direction that you know that the, the portal is, you see a massive dark shape filling the sky ahead of you. Uh-oh. And then landing on the back of the turtle, one of these massive wolves has leapt onto its back. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. um, they are huge. The turtle is bigger by some order of magnitude, but they're still like... You have to guess that these wolves are a few hundred feet tall and longer still than that. It's a, a, a wolf of absurd size. Um, as you're soaring in that direction, you see it, like, lunge down with its head and tear upwards, and you see brick and stonework just sailing into the air uh, as it destroys something. Mm. Um, you'd see Yay, sort of... Wolf. You can see sort of flitting around it like uh, like the airplanes at the end of King Kong, uh, some warforged, uh, based on their use of wands, you imagine them to probably be some of the, um, the, the guys who worked here, circling around it on sore sleds, just taking shots at it with, uh, <laughs> with little wands that are basically the equivalent of shooting a battleship with a pea shooter. Um, so the chance. So I, get, I chance. get in sort of a judo pose while I'm being carried through the air, just in case I need to fight. Mm -hmm. um, as you're uh, sort of banking around to avoid this imminent wolfening, you see uh, two huge paws come up over the side of the creature as well. And pulling itself up is another massive wolf, a head the size of a building, that sort of snarls and with these massive luminous yellow eyes locks onto your party sailing through the air and lunges out as if to snap for you. No, guys. no, no, no! We love you guys. We're big, we're fans. <laughs> um, so. Unless you have anything more dramatic to pull, uh, give me a uh, a dex save to try to weave out of the way. Who, those yeah. of you who are flying. Okay. Glint, I'm make it chilling. a disadvantage because you're carrying a guy. <clears throat> Damn it. Uh, 
What if I wasn't carrying the guy? <laughs> you are free to drop him. Alrighty. Would that give me non-disadvantage? That would make it a straight roll. Mm. How high up are we? How high up would you guys say that you were flying? Well, there's no reason to... I was going to stay relatively close to them or in the ground. There's no reason to stay high up unless... Is there, like... Is shit flying up out of the ground going to hit us? I mean, the ground is, like, buckling back and forth pretty dramatically uh, because this turtle is freaking the fuck out and the tree is sort of swaying back and forth. So it's a little bit treacherous on, on the ground right now, so you might not want to be, like, right next to it. But We're, we're probably, like, above... At least above tree line, a bit more. Yeah, than for that. sure. The trees, the trees are, are swaying gonna, around. Yeah. Um, yeah, above the tree line, you'd be uh, based on like just keeping sequoias? above the majority of the trees, probably somewhere in the range of like 60, 70 feet up. Okay. Yeah. I'll give I'll give this one a go, and then depending. Uh, oh, I will use my. Can I use my last spell slot to heal myself? Sure. Uh, hey, am I within 10 feet of you? What? Do you think that's likely? I think. I think you guys are probably traveling in a in a unit. I'll, I'll say that's fine. Make that a 10 then. Maybe that's a DC. I to heal myself. Oh boy. That'll get me into double digits. Who else is flying? Oh, I'm flying. Witness. Okay. Anyways, say deck save, right? Yep. <clears throat> I do have one more lucky that I still haven't used after all this. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wait, it's with his hand Hmm, okay. No, it's still pretty good. Um. Better than the guy who didn't have this in there. Yeah. Um. Uh. Ca carrying Peppy. Uh, you are sweeping forward and you see these enormous jaws open, fangs the size of, I don't know, like a, like a bus, basically. <laughs> like, a, literally a bus-sized tooth coming down towards you as you can smell the rank breath of whatever this other kind of, uh, titanic creatures this thing has been feeding off of. Uh... You just pass between the jaws and between the rows of teeth, the size of them such that you can go between the rows of teeth as though you you could spread full wingspan between them, essentially. Uh, and just whoosh, weave your way through, witness doing the same. Grove, uh, flying, trying to take the same approach, just sort of weave through when the jaws... Whoosh, Come snapping shut. I guess I'm going on a funny adventure. <laughs> and the as belly of a wolf. As they snap shut, you realize, well, I was not hit by the teeth. However, my forward progress is stymied by the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and you are in the plunging darkness of a wolf's mouth. Hmm. And then, I suppose. as you as you sort of like hover there in the air, like uh, fuck, you see this enormous carpet tongue <laughs> rising towards you, <laughs> slamming into the bottom of your feet and curling backwards as it's going to try to swallow what's in its mouth. <laughs> Uh, okay. I am currently made of ooze. Maybe it will, like, recoil or something. Uh, this is the Vor session. Yeah, nobody's allowed to come to this. <laughs> but I, I will explain. eat to it. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Mm, delicious. Sorry, I, explained to, I explained to Peppy, like, if, if something happens, be ready in case I drop you. How, how do I be ready to fall? You're a fucking wizard, aren't you? Yeah, I can make myself invisible so you won't be able to find my dead body. I'd be... Can you make multiple people invisible? I think that would have helped. Anyway. <laughs> 
The only Anyways. problem is that's a, it's a concentration spell, so I wouldn't have been able to do anything else. Well, no, I mean right now. I mean, you can cast spells while you're concentrating on something. Babies. You just can't cast other concentrations. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, and that's not useful. Um, um, I mean, I guess I can make us invisible. But then our friends wouldn't be able to see us. Oh, I attempt to be unappetizing. Is that and all you got? <laughs> and also, I attempt to dodge the tongue. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm. Just, I don't think I really have anything else to avoid. Um. Let me see. I, I'm at wild shapes. Um. I'll acid splash the tongue. Maybe that'll make. Go out. Bye bye. Uh. Roll, roll to hit. You're not going to like miss. Roll damage. Yeah. It's so huge. Yeah. Nine acid. Uh. Uh. You. Immediately, you hear this sort of like, like deafening howl building in the throat as the pain strikes the tongue and you hear like whoop and you are deafened yeah that's uh, understandable <laughs> uh but does it open its mouth as it does so uh it sort of like jaws part partially as it just sort of like recoils from it which is enough time for you to sort of swing your way out but you are uh flying completely deaf at the moment i hurtle out fucking disoriented you can I feel heard. like the blood trickling down from your ears the blood and ooze that's not great i look f i look for the portal and i go fast um i was gonna cut back to the people on the ground but she's gone so we'll deal with her in a minute i guess um all right. <laughs> uh, one thing. Um, <clears throat> all right. Phew! Soaring forward, you now see, uh, swinging around, uh, on sore sleds, sort of approaching this wolf that you've just managed to evade, you see more warforged, uh, more servants of the Becoming God, who, uh, Training their wands on the uh, on the massive wolf, see you guys making a beeline for the uh, big exit sign, and turn their weapons to face you. Oh no! Kill them, wolf. Um. You Kill. you see them all at the same time, so we're just gonna do like a really quick, like little initiative thing. Yeah. I would like to. Dip Is this on ground or? Cover the other no, ones. we're not doing ground yet because she stepped away. So we're gonna. All right, ground. I was just making sure. Does anyone have a way to create a a big noise or light? I want to try to get the wolf's attention on them. Here, do a quick initiative for me. Hey, Peppo. Yep. Can you make big light on the crowd and maybe draw a wolf attention? Uh, big light on the crowd. Jesus Christ, come on, See, numbers. Ooh. Oh, wait, are we doing an initiative now? Mm 
How far are we from the portal right now? You're not sure. Um, you can't see it from where you are presently, but given the amount of time that you walked north, you would gather you've still got a good couple minutes of flying. Mm -hmm. um, but flying over the treetops, not having to deal with the, the treacherous terrain of this thing's back uh, is, is definitely cutting down the travel time considerably. And who ho who's holding the actual thing again? There's a thing, what is it called? The transgressor with a... The docent? Docent. Um, That's Talon. Talon has it. You can see Talon where you are. She's like uh, a couple hundred feet ahead of you. Okay. She just fucked her. She, she took off before you guys even cast fly because she's got, you know, the wings. What does the docent look like again? It's like a... It's like a stone ball, basically, covered in runic inscriptions uh, and with a large, giantish letter on it. That's about, like, yay big. Not that big. Well, hold on, I gotta look at Discord. About that big. Yeah, big? How about you, big? About that, about that big. About that big. Yeah, a little bigger than a basketball. Um... Um, Looking at my spells. It looks a little smaller than the one that you uh, saw at the auction, but it's visibly like the same kind of device. Um, I could... Hmm. How far away are the Warforged that are looking at us now? Um, so, okay, so Peppy's up first. Um, yeah, the Warforged have just sort of come up out of the treetops. They're maybe like 60 feet from you. Okay. I could cast Catapult right now and try and hit one of them with a big... Uh, you know, oddly enough, there's a lot of really large watermelons around because it's Lamania and everything grows really well. Every, everything um, is a, it's a everything grows really well, so there's a very watermelon large watermelon. Harvest. Oh, there's tons of watermelons in Lamania. Everyone's, they're known for it. Um, so I think I'm going to cast Catapults at one of the Warforged. All right. <clears throat> Middle spot That's me doing a thing, right? I gotta save. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking maybe the 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 dude getting hit by a big watermelon might draw his attention as well. You're hitting, you're hitting the warforge or the wolf. The warforge. Okay. They're in our way, right? And the the wolf. They they have us. they have like yeah, sort of come up in in between yep. you and your destination. How many gotcha. Warforged do I have? Like four or five? There's four. Okay, um, so, so if there, if any of them are in a line, I'm going to try and find a watermelon that could be launched They're in not a quite line in a them. line. They're sort of flying in formation. Uh, sort of, um, like, in, in all... Like, you're moving perpendicular to them, essentially. Oh, okay, gotcha, to their, gotcha. To their line. Um... But I'll, I'll roll for dog shit. Um, I'll make another roll. Um, you see uh, this one swooping up uh, on the sore sled, um, pulling out his wand, which begins to glow with this reddish magic. Uh, and you just <laughs> swing your arm up in a watermelon launches from the ground, beans him square in the chest, <laughs> and he just goes flying off the sore sled. <laughs> he 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 he's, uh does the does the full goofy he goes <laughs> Hell yeah. And he's he's gone. Happy to the fist pump. Uh and the other three are like, oh shit But they are still uh uh, ahead of our two friends here who rolled, like, absolute piss and ass. Uh, more like balls, I think. Balls. Uh, so they're going to, uh, <laughs> shoot firebolts at all three of you. I do a flip. Each of them is gonna shoot a firebolt. Um... Well, there's one last guy to shoot a firebolt now, thanks to the wizard. The wizard! So let's do Glint first. What's your AC, Glint? 18, 18. Okay, that that just glances off the armor. Um, let's do Grove. 
Natural one, total miss. <laughs> Let's do Peppy. <laughs> 19 on the die. Um, they're mad at you. You hit them. Um, Peppy, that's a bad roll. That's going to be six points of fire damage. Damn. All right. Uh, <laughs> and you feel Ooh, I have four you. HP left. Yeah, everybody's pretty low. Mr. Vish. Vish, comma, Grove. That's me. Okay, um, Ray. I'm not gonna be able to get a range just by dashing. So. How many Warforged are there? Three. I'm going to um, attempt to sludge two of them. All right. Quick. Make con saves. DC 17. Two failures. All right. I command one of them to walk off his surf his sled. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, he's I'm just yeah. falling. <laughs> Uh, off the, uh, off the source sled. Fantastic. And, um... Anything else? I keep on, get, I keep keep on going. going. Yeah. I, if, I, if I can, I'll try to get... Position myself so that there's at least some cover between me and sure, the Warforged. Sure, you swoop a little closer down to the canopy. Yeah. Um, Glint. I'll be taking evasive action as we move forward. You're just, you're just sort of, like, dodging and running? How, they're not... How far away are they? They're about 60 feet from your current position. Could I ram one of them? Sure. You have 60 feet of movement. Okay. Um, so make a I strength wish to ram one of them and throw Peppy at the other one. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make a strength check for the ram, first of all, or in athletics, whichever. Okay. I'm gonna do and that. then Peppy will have his own mobility on the sewer slit. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. strength check. Uh, strength, strength or acro, uh, <coughs> strength or athletics check for this. And, uh, oh. Try to dodge. I'll do an acrobatics. Nineteen. Nineteen. Fuck. <laughs> um, you fly forward and just shoulder check <laughs> this one warforged off. You just go spinning off, uh, disappearing into the canopy. Uh, the sore sled just sort of swooping and flying out of control. Uh, and then you pitch <laughs> Peppy towards the other one. Uh, make, a, make a strength check to throw him. <laughs> this can only go well, I think. All right, Perfect. I'm going to use my lucky on that and hope for better. Perfect. Perfect. What did he roll? All right, well, that's what we got. <laughs> you got a <laughs> twelve. Um, for, I got a nine. Uh, oh, never mind. Peppy, no, you're no, like, no. oh my god, he's gonna fucking pitch my ass my towards the other up. source sled. He throws you. You are so short. <laughs> you are like, you are like way short of the mark. Um, <sighs> he he just tosses you, and you're like, oh no 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 no. Um, I'm gonna say make. Mm. <laughs> Dirk will attest any, that he was mind controlled when he tried to kill you guys. Save this. He has misty stuff or something, right? Do you still have your grappling hook? I think so. Well, Featherfall. Do you have that there? I have Featherfall. I do have Featherfall. Then I'm you'll just be I'm down on use. the ground. True. Yes. Uh, although the, the, uh, one of the sleds could be on the ground, so. Will be on the ground. You don't know where, though. Somewhere, but it might teeter off. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I guess I I do have my grappling hook. Is there anything I could grapple in distance? You could grapple the source sled. I'll do that. <laughs> and he was trying to throw you to. <laughs> um, all right, 
Um, I got you partway there. You finished the job. Then you get launched. You realize this motherfucker threw me like half the distance. And you <laughs> reach I into pack Indiana Jones it. Really fast. You're like, I remember doing this back in Sean. It went okay, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you <laughs> it's a throwback. You hurl the uh, the grappling hook in the air. Make a. How did we do this before? Was it a, was it just like a dex check or some shit? Uh... I mean, would acrobatics be something that you consider? Because that's a plus three for me. It's it's like the accuracy of throwing it. You know what I mean? So yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess athletics is zero for me. I'm doing. Um, I could just do a straight like dex, a dex check. Let's just do it. Let's just do a dex. Oh, I'll do a plus three. Ooh, Twenty. Woo! <laughs> not natural uh sinks into uh the edge of the sore sled which just sort of gets pulled at an awkward angle um and you swing round uh can you just give me a d20 roll real quick all right 10 10 as your weight unexpectedly uh, latches on to the uh, to the side of the sore sled, as the as the grappling hook bites in, you sort of swing down just from the momentum of being thrown, uh, swinging like Tarzan, and the momentum and force of your body swinging combined with the grappling hook at the edge of the sore sled just makes the sore sled do a full flip. <laughs> And the Warforge goes, OH FUCK! And flies <laughs> off. <laughs> and, and as the as the uh, the sore sled rights itself, you're just dangling from an unoccupied sore sled. Oh my god. <laughs> that rules. <laughs> uh, which you can all according to plan. Which you can without too much difficulty uh, climb up to. And uh, now what a have a vehicle. Scene. You have a surfboard. Hell yeah. <laughs> if we're within range to yell at the other guys, you tell them there's two surf guy boards down there somewhere. Uh, you think you're yelling, but uh, there's not really much sound coming out. Your voice is hoarse. You just don't you don't know what's actually happening. Am I still deaf? Yeah, you're still deaf. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, just for fun, those two guys in the ground start melting from the inside. For <laughs> Oh, great. Yippee. Um, so as that uh, high-flying uh, Cirque du Soleil act completes, um, our, our fellow's on the ground. Uh, rushing a heed. Dirk gets hit with a surf bird. He's, uh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Um, you guys rushing forward, you hear uh, Grove say, oh, man, 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 man. And you're like, the fuck is he saying? And then Glint says, there's sword sleds down there! We knocked him down! And you're like, oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> snapping next to his ear. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Jane and uh, Dirk running forward can see two crashed sore sleds next to two very, uh, very dead-looking warforged who are currently bubbling with black acid. <laughs> uh, Dirk stabs him anyway, and then takes the it takes the surfboard. All right, you get on the surfboard and you ride. He stabs ride him words. heroically. <laughs> heroically, ha ha! He says. <laughs> this is Dirk's her ha. <laughs> Sounded like like Tommy was so, but like with a like with the voice pitched way up. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> That's, so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> so the idea is those things are faster. They are. They are faster, and they are, uh, airborne. Okay. And we get oh. to look cool for school. Of course we do. Yes. 
Um, okay, so we're on not those. too cool for yeah, school. You can, just you cool can grab onto school. that, and it still works. Uh, they these things are pretty sturdy. Um, it's just their drivers died, um, which they were stabbed heroically by Dirk. Oh, of course, yeah. That that's what did him in. Um, <clears throat> and just sort of rise up out of the canopy, mercifully, out of the range of the increasingly treacherous terrain. Um, those two wolves uh, that have climbed onto the back are now sort of circling back and forth, diving at things in the canopy, just biting and tearing away chunks of stonework and construction, uh, obliterating anything that is not meant to be here. Up near the front, where you guys were at the at the front of the shell, uh, you can see that uh, the first wolf you saw, which looks probably to be a little bit bigger than the others, uh, has clamped onto the side of the turtle's head, mm. and is like, mm. like, moving its head back and forth like a dog shaking a chew toy. Poor trouble. Um. But you guys zoom. Okay. You now are within eyesight of the um, of the portal. It's probably another like maybe like I don't know if you're with. No, you know what? You can dimly see the glow of the of the portal. You guys are still maybe about a minute of flight out. But you're you're approaching rapidly. Um, you can see uh, some warforged and possibly maybe some lycanthropes uh, just buzzing around these wolves like flies, completely ineffectually. You see one of the wolves turns its head and just swallows about nine guys in a single bite. Um, it is like a nest of baby bunnies. Yeah. <laughs> to a dog. Mm, yum yum yum. Or a cat. <laughs> My dog Yummers. did that once. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dogs and cats love baby bunnies. They love them. They, they're, they're savory. Yeah. Um, I hate it when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> they're just following the evolutionary instincts to murder all children. It's a good, it's a good instinct. Pitbull's got that one right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll go after a nest of human babies. Hey, what you got against Miami superstar Pitbull? Oh, nothing. I'm sorry. Worldwide? That's Mr. Worldwide. Remember that time that the the singer songwriter Pitbull <laughs> shot a child in the fucking mouth? Just mauled. Actually, mauled. I them. do remember. He, that. he 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 attacked him with his hands just, and teeth. His hands <laughs> and teeth. He was going at it like Mike Tyson. It was all because that baby said that uh, he liked Pharrell better. That baby just said happy. The baby just said they, it was happy. He wanted uh, to clap they along. Also, <laughs> if they you know that happiness is the truth, and then. Him. South Miami Beach superstar Mr. Worldwide Pitbull shot him in the fucking face. With his fist. Mm -hmm. With his fist a cuff. He punched him, but he did this first. He went, chick, chick, poof, and everyone's like, why'd you do that, Pitbull? And then he said, chick, chick, boom, and that's when he hit Because it looked cool. He's reloading his fists like, uh, like Henry Cavill in that trailer for uh, the Mission Impossible movie I didn't see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. As you're rushing that way, however, you see a fourth wolf climbing up over the back of the turtle, the rear side. And there doesn't look like there's much stuff breaking the canopy back there. It doesn't look like there's much construction. But you see its enormous uh, woven head turn in the direction of the where the portal is anchored, where that construction is, and it emits this long, loud howl and begins to uh, charge in that direction. 
Um, Don't like that. The two of you get closer and closer and closer to it. Um, on opposite sides. Basically, it looks like you're making a beeline straight for the wolf. You're just approaching the portal from opposite sides. Up a little bit ahead of you, you do see Talon just <laughs> disappear through the portal with the docent. She makes it through. She was ahead a, a bit of a distance. But you come within range um, and uh, you're like probably like a hundred feet out from the portal and the wolf is maybe a hundred feet out from behind the portal and both of you are this close to reaching it. Uh, okay. Um, let's do something. Let's just see if anybody's got anything up their sleeves. Is it possible to misty step with the board? Not with the board. Okay. Uh, how you far can misty, misty step, step off the board. How far is misty step again? Let me look. It's 30 feet. 30 feet? Give me some quick uh, initiatives. We're just going to see how this plays out. That's a natural 20, so that's 28. Oh, shit. I didn't see the initiative thingy. Sorry. Um... I got... <clears throat> I, got I, I actually have to do it. I forgot. I'm, I'm the missing link. <clears throat> no, you. That, 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 I fucked up. You're 16, and you're eight. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, Dirk, as you're sore sledding, you're about 100 feet out. The wolf is about 100 feet from the portal. Um, how fast does the sore sled go? 60 feet? I believe it's, uh, it's a, uh, where does it say? It's 30, it's, it's a, as fast as you move. It's 30 feet. But I'm 35. Well, it's as fast as a normal person moves. Yeah, I know. I was being an asshole. Um, so that's 90 feet. That doesn't give me enough room to misty step, but it gets me close. Um, but 150 feet. Excuse me, not 100. Oh, we're 150 feet. Yeah. Okay, then I just keep moving for now. All right, just full dash. Yeah, full dash. Mr. Ravi. So with that, we'll be at 90 feet. Yes. Well, I suppose I'll dash. Now I'm 30 feet away. All right. There you go, guys. Witness does the same. Um, I'm guessing everybody's dashing because you're far. You're relatively far away, unless there's anything else you got. Yeah. I Is that what we're doing? Sure. I don't know. All right. Um. Goddamn fucking noise! I hate that machine. I'll kill it one day. I'll kill its family. I'll make it watch. Um. Are you gonna grape it in its mouth? No. No, I wasn't planning on it. Um. So that would put our flyers 30 feet from the portal and our non flyers. 90. If we were 150. 90 feet from the portal. Right? That sounds right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we were 150 feet, 60 would be 90. Um, the wolf charges up, uh, reaches where the portal is, and swipes down with a paw and obliterates the staircase and a chunk of the stonework. The structure is still standing, but it is looking uh, badly damaged. Those little pylons 
that are holding up and anchoring the uh, portal in place, just hanging on by a thread at the top of this uh, little structure here. Um, that is... That is that, uh, Peppy, you also get within uh, 90 feet of the portal. Um, uh, hmm. Or are, are you... You're, you're dashing, right? Or Yeah. Okay. So... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> Dirk. Uh, I will dash and then misty step into the portal. Very well. Because that will be 90 feet, or 60 feet, and then I'll have 30 feet to misty step into the portal. You fly up as close as you can and misty step, and poof, you're gone. He's dead. We're free. He's he gone. No? Yeah. Alright guys, mm -hmm. let's go home. Around. I. This was all just an elaborate ruse to just get rid of Dirk. I will go into the portal. One sec. You would only. Oh, no, you would be able to fly. Never mind. Yeah, we're flying. We're flying. We fly now. Yeah. <laughs> We're not aiming for the portal. I fly into the wolf's mouth. I don't I don't think that's a goal. It's someone's goal. Um fucking sick. Uh Grove. He said. Oh, sorry, I wasn't what'd you say? I rocket forward at the speed of sound and enter the portal. Witness does the same. Jane, you can get within 30 feet of the portal. I'll do that. All right, you are within 30 feet of the portal. I've done it. Uh, I think Glint is flying. I think Glint can get through. Yeah. I fly now. I fly through the portal. Uh, <clears throat> the wolf takes another swipe, knocks out the foundations of the structure those pylons break away, falling apart, leaving the portal to sort of just flicker there, free hanging, and start to shift and move as though it's losing its shape partially. Peppy. All right, so who hasn't gone over the portal yet? I think uh, one of them's you. I think. I think it's 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 you and Jane on the other uh, on the outside of the portal right now. Yep. Jane is and everyone else has gone through. Yeah, Jane's thirty feet from it on the source sled, and you're ninety feet from it. Yep. True. Sure. And Jane will go before the next wolf thing, but you will not. So you Wait, how it wasn't risk. Peppy also on a source sled? He is. No. Yeah, but he's. His initiative is low. Well. Huh. Never mind. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just trying to figure out. Okay. Yeah. I can't do anything. Oh, I'm just reading something real quick. You can just dash to Jane's source slide, can't you? Can I? Yeah, it's, it's you're 90 feet away. Jane is 30 feet away. You just dash to Jane. Oh, okay. I completely... Okay, I didn't realize how far away I was. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just go there. All right, so you dash over and you want to just, like, hop over to her source sled? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, oh. It's not a high DC. Just give me a dex check just to make sure. the make the little jump and like stay balanced because they're designed for one person uh <laughs> listen i got a rock for a leg okay <laughs> um wait 
This is the, the source has a bit of rock, right? Just dig your leg into it. You hop over, just latch in there, and be like, is oh, it, make uh, it, yeah, make actually, it, for <laughs> you know, make a make an attack roll with your strength like, modifier. Strength mm -hmm. modifier, okay. Yeah. Let me see here. Is that a minus one? No, just zero. So I'm just gonna roll oh. a one d twenty. Eleven. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, sail through the air, realize, I'm short, this time it's my fault! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you are just like, wait a second, I know exactly what to do! And you do, f like, karate kid arms in the air, <laughs> and crane kick <laughs> towards the bottom of the sore sled, <laughs> and your foot just melds into the bottom of the sore Am sled. Am I upside you, down? <laughs> you swing back upside down, like, clamping yeah! onto your hat, like, oh! <laughs> This fucking rules! <laughs> the source sled is gravely unbalanced. Um, but uh, with uh, that, Jane can angle it forward and zip both of you guys into the portal before the wolf's jaws come snapping down around it. You just see yourself staring into that immense cavity, that throat ready to swallow you and the portal hole. The jaws closing, cutting off the rain, cutting off the sky, and you just fly straight into the portal in the wolf's mouth. And you're through. <sighs> Man, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank God we're back in Eberron. Yay. All of you guys go spilling out into that clearing uh, that you uh, had been in before. Um, the little, uh, the place where Vothnak got eaten. Mm, great uh, memories. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll put you on it, too, so you can remember. Oh, these guys aren't here. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was the situation. <laughs> Eh, let's just I wasn't even there for that. For session. posterity. Um, <laughs> well, you you were there the session before and knew what was coming. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. No, I thought we were all going to go through the portal. I didn't know Vodnak was going to die. No, I'm pretty sure you did, Bird. He was no, like, I didn't. I was shocked when I landed. You weren't paying attention, and that's your fault. Did he leave? <laughs> was it, Did you leave early? It, yeah, did I you leave there. early? You may, have le you may have left. That was when I was because sick. I because, think he, yeah, no, yeah. He, the, we left off the, the session. The last no, I, thing that happened, he was surrounded and doomed. I do think he left, because I, th I think he may have been, like, the first guy into the portal, and then I think he was like... Oh, oh yeah, I went through the portal, and I was I really sick. Get the fuck out of here. And then he was yeah, gone. Yeah, that's and exactly then, what I did. And then... No, because I remember explaining to Bird the next time, yeah, that dipshit missed it by five feet. <laughs> Oh yeah, fuck. yeah, you miscalculated. That fool that boo. Yeah, because last I character. last I remember, I got through the portal and everyone was just on the way to the portal. He had to get the eggs. People in the portal thought his hubris for eggs was his undoing. He needed loves eggs. Making the mother of all <laughs> omelets. He needed to make the mother of all omelets. <laughs> uh, but he ended up breaking himself instead. And sometimes we break a few eggs. And, and all the king's the men couldn't troll. put them back together. <laughs> no. Um, but you guys sprawl out here next to the portal, which you see... <laughs> like, sort of flickering, and then stabilize again. Hmm. Yippee. Um. And, uh... You see... No sign of Talon anywhere, but Witness uh, is there with you, sort of kneeling, uh, and stands up and sort of brushes himself off and looks left and looks right and says, Well, it looks as though she may be taking it directly back to headquarters. A diligent soldier, that one. Well done. He looks around at you. You are all barely alive. Yes. How unfortunate. I'm I, feeling all right. My insides hurt. 
Hmm. Am I still deaf? Are you still... <laughs> yeah, you're still deaf. Okay. I, I look like I'm paying attention. <laughs> you just got. You guys look over at Grove, and he's just got like massive amounts of blood running down his ears. He's looking inquisitively like. Mm. I'm trying to read lips and failing because he has no lips. I believe your friend may have ruptured <laughs> eardrums. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tight. Yeah, add it to the list, bud. I, I, I healing word myself. <laughs> Your eardrums of heal. How's that old? Yes. Physician, heal thyself. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. There, Jesus, that's a big one. It's a big heal. Yeah. It definitely. Ears are important. Well, now, now your I ears can hear us again. I have very few spell slots left. Uh, I, can I, have, I just had zero. <laughs> your head is still ringing pretty bad from that howl, but you're uh, you're doing better. Yeah. Okay. I believe that can be said to be an effective mission. You have destroyed the facility you came to destroy, and I have retrieved that which it is I came to retrieve. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, it feels like it went by so fast. It was like in the blink of an eye, the way in which that it occurred, that it was just so fast. Smooth. It's as like soap. we just, it's like we just met. Smooth. Uh, that soap. is the longest. Uh, like, how how long were we in there? Like hours. What? That's the hour opposite of what I said. Oh my god! Everything's <laughs> awful. I hate it all. No, Everyone's it felt like dead. an hour and a half, because it was. I mean, no, everyone it was, no, did like, it was like, there. It was like Don't two be days. silly. <laughs> it was like two days. Um, oh, God. We, it felt we, we like did a, sleep a thousand over. hours. No. A thousand hours, yeah. A thousand is a bit much, I'd say maybe. I don't know. Eighteen? Your, your tolerance for death and destruction is getting higher, Siobhan. Nope. Who's that? Siobhan. I don't know. I mix up my characters all the time. I'm sorry. Oh, it's metaverse bleed over. It's Jane. Fun. It's for, it, listen, it's from going over to a different plane. We, we sort of went through the metaverse soup. Exactly. You, know? you got you got linked up with uh, with alternate selves from another dimension. Mm -hmm. uh, a world in which you're a, a blind uh, valley girl. And Dead another one where you're a, a, a stout gray man. I heard that valley girl's uh, parents are still falling. They never hit the ground. <clears throat> they never hit the ground. You're really and neither valley. will she. I think she hit the ground. <laughs> she no. hit the ground a couple times. She's in the coffin now, so she can't hit the ground as long as the coffin doesn't That's true. Decay. That's right. She can't hit the ground. She's She's been she's protected the from the ground by a layer of wood. She will, there's in nothing the ground. ground. <laughs> you understand her. She's in a coffin in a closet. <laughs> and she'll soon be in a, in the ground. <laughs> it's where she uh, where she needs to rest. It's where she'd want she'd want to be. Uh, she'd want to be stuffed in a closet. She'd want to be. In, well, she did. <laughs> That's just true. Um, yeah, but she didn't write a final will or testament or anything. So. I'm gonna grab some water. I'll be back. The fuck out of you. Um, okay. The fuck out of you. Okay. I sit down. It seems they don't have any water. No. <laughs> no. Getting shot at really makes you thirsty. Drink the rain out of your clothes. Yeah. That's sweat. It was raining. No, it was. This is it was like a sweat. rainforest. You want to smell it? Do as you please. I use shape water to collect the rain off of our clothes, on my clothes, and put it into my little drinking bag, water skin. That's what it's called. <laughs> You're drinking Ziploc of Sprite. <laughs> and I'll drink that. Spike Camber. It appears that our accord is at an end. This has been a more fruitful partnership than I believed. It was good to ally in this manner on this task. However, it is here that we must diverge again. 
for I have my own business to attend to with the docent and the Lord of Blades, and you no doubt have your missions and desires. We, we have a lot of people to avoid. Hmm. You spoke before about a method by which your compatriots may be returned. What? You inquired about it. Yeah, our Oh, friends. our dead friends? Yes. God, why do you talk so weird? I'm a weird robot. Get off my ass. Okay, quotable. <laughs> This is like my whole thing. I'm weird okay. robot. I'm sorry, I, I I did not understand. Do not fuck <laughs> with me. Um <laughs> uh <clears throat> That's fucking disgusting. What the fuck is that? Ugh. What? You're looking at racist. Shady yeah. chat chat. The thing's fucking gross. What? Oh the hot dog with the beefaroni on it? Yeah, oh, it's uh, Brazilian style, whatever. It's fucking gross. Yeah, I don't love that. I don't love that it's just sitting on the keyboard like that. It makes me I mean, that's, that is the worst part. That's not Brazilian style. <laughs> that's cold. Brazilians do not eat their food on keyboards. It's, it's, called, no. present, it's called presentation. Come it's, on, people. It's called a beefaroni cheese dog. No, I'm not. Where's the beef? Oh, <laughs> roni. Under the roni. What year is it? 2022. There is a way that I know of that may be less costly than seeking it out from other means. Hey. However, How it is in the Mornland. So, do you want to bring it out? I cannot. It is a person okay. who does not leave. However, okay. they are in Seaside, on the southernmost tip of the Mornland, where once the mists rolled up to the docks and stopped. Yeah, I remember that. I this, don't remember that. This individual has the ability to return spirits from beyond to their bodies. Even those of Warforged, we have found. See how the process should be any different, so that makes sense. Is there a way we can get to this southern tip? Easily? Or do we have to go all the way through the Mornland? I will be traveling through the Mornland. I must reconvene with the Lord and see about the docent for a time. However, Seaside is accessible by sea through the Kraken Bay. It is possible still to land on those docks by the mists. Though, I fear they not, may not be always quite so welcoming. Nevertheless, if this is something you wish to seek, I can send word for you to be accepted. I, I think we seek that. I, I would seek that. That seems like a good thing to seek. Uh, I feel like all my life I've been searching for acceptance and it's just bought me death. You just said <laughs> something irrelevant. If this is I think path. he's having a mental breakdown, Jane. Don't worry. <laughs> Dirk's feelings are never irrelevant. He cannot restore your friend's mind, I'm afraid. Don't worry, it was gone long ago. This figure goes by Savior. The name? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. You will be able to find them, for theirs is the only building in Seaside where light still glows in the towers. There is one caveat that you Only may find one. 
distasteful, given the soft predilections of the fleshborn, as I have come to understand them. Savior's yeah. magic cannot originate from nothing. A sacrifice is required. Only death may pay for life. Any life? A uh, life of comparable quality. Praying mantis. That's all right. Of comparable quality. A small Praying chicken? mantis is the best pug. You are welcome to bring a praying mantis to Savior and see how that I goes. I couldn't kill it. I couldn't kill it. I think you mean quantity. I don't. A lot of bugs. <laughs> what about like a hundred bugs? I think you know what is required. It's okay. We killed a lot of people already. It does not matter whether they are friend or foe, relevant or irrelevant. But they must be brought, and they must be slain by Savior's hand. Okay, one per- one per each? Yes. Okay, thanks. Dang. It's okay, one of them's a horse, so it's relatively- Yeah, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Although, you know, magic, you know, an amazing magic horse. That, that you know. means three people. No. If this is your objective, not the resurrection, but the disruption of the activities of these entities that we also quarrel with, I expect we will see each other again. But for now, yeah. I will return to the mists. Okay. See you. Bye. Hmm. Bye. Pivots. Bye now. Take it easy. Walks off into the forest. He walks straight into a tree trunk without looking. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. and he goes through it. Yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> trapped. It's, it's weird, it, and it doesn't hurt it either. It's just like... It's just true no clip. Just... He, he walks hologram. right. He walks right through the hologram tree, and he just stops for a moment. He's, I see. Huh. What? <laughs> and keeps walking. I didn't, but it's, I don't it's know. all a matrix. It's the matrix. Books. I can see the lines of code. There's that lady with the red dress. That symbolic of red dresses. Yeah. It's just like the shed. Sixth sense. And you are left by this Lamania portal. <laughs> okay. We're tired. I speak yeah, I think everyone. I need to sleep. I can maybe make a small sparkle come out of my hand, but that's pretty much it. Oh, I thought you were going to say dinner or something. I'll be right back. I look around the place. <laughs> I can maybe make dinner. <laughs> Is it safe to sleep here? I don't know. Witness walks back into the clearing. Oh, by the way, Glint. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about you, buddy. <laughs> uh, you do that a lot, <laughs> buddy. What? Sorry, your name is your name is Glunt, right? <laughs> Junt. It's, it's Glunt. Your, your name is Gleep. Gleep. Is that it? No. You may remain with these ones to keep an eye on them if they intend to make a return to the Mornland in the near future. Otherwise, we may have need of you in the Mornland sooner. Use your best judgment. Time for me to go. Now you fucks off. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, Pep Pep. Thanks for remembering me. <laughs> he said my name almost like, right. Oh shit. Um, uh, fucking, grunt, uh, what's grunt. the last kid's name? J Blimmy. You. Yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> Watch after your mom. Alright, peace.
All right, I gave him like a mission. He's gonna. He, I gave him like this fucking. I, I told him to stay with them. He's gonna be gone for like at least a few weeks. This is so fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, fuck. Witness and Talon are walking away doing like a cool secret handshake. Yeah, hey, fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck that nerd. I see it on the go. What, what are they doing over there? What is that? What is that? Who are those it. people? We have a handshake. You're, I'm trying to lip. I'm trying to lip read, but they have no lips except they're like in the distance, like doing this. <laughs> I can't tell what I'm like what? What could they be talking about? They're talking about. Oh, they they hate humans. Yeah, yeah that okay, must be okay. it. That must be it. Couldn't be me. Okay, let's sleep in here or whatever because i don't even know where we are or where we can travel to so <laughs> let's just sleep in here you're um here wait only tell me stuff if 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 it makes sense to travel otherwise don't tell me anything just let me sleep here well no i'm just you're you're just like you're like right there but what you're like right there no, yeah, I can't the see you're like right you gotta zoom out. We're on the right near the Moreland. Okay, there it is. Right, there it is. Right, the choo-choo train. I select the choo-choo train. Yeah, but I don't know how many days or hours or whatever out we are from anywhere safe. So that's uh, what I mean. At least a day. I mean, so you're like you're like you're like half just sleep a here. day north from Arathon, but okay. they were mad at you there. So. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, so we're sleeping here. No, yeah. And that's I mean, whatever. you're pretty. You're pretty beat. It's probably wise. Yeah, um, we go sleepy time. Okay. Do you guys have? A Are we gonna have to set up a watch? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Do you have okay. one of those? No, we need Is that? Watch is Dark Jean, Grand Poppy, and Vithnak Hero. So uh, okay. this is a little out of date. Uh, I matter. guess I can go first. Uh, who wants to join me? Me. Oh, okay. Well, it will be Dirk and is, Jane. Dirk and Jane. You guys zero. settle down next to this. Uh, are you are you like settling down like right next to the big glowing portal? I'll go with you, Glint. Well, is it? Wait, it's still uh, glowing. It's. I mean, it's still an act. It appears to still be an active tear. I put it out. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Let's get away from it for a little bit. Out. You know, so, uh, I don't want to be right next to it. <laughs> just walking over to the portal. <sighs> yeah, I start. I start patting it up. Come on. I get come out a coat and I <laughs> fucking get sucked through again. Oh, I wonder where it will go. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonder. You jump back in, find out. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's just get a. Can we be okay, like... so we move away from the glowing portal. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, we do our watch. All right. Um. So when do you do it? Uh, uh, my perception is. is... Whose perception? It's, 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 we're doing a watch. I have a plus yeah, eleven. I think. Go for it, perception? bud. Plus... Eighteen. Eighteen is very good. Um, nothing immediately strikes you as out of the ordinary. Um, it, you hear a, a dearth of animal noises, actually, even though you're this close to, like, a, like a wild portal. Um, many of them may have fled during the chaos of the, of the previous evening uh, and have yet to really repopulate the area quite yet. Um, and... It seems like the ma the majority of people who were here were killed by witness and company on their way rolling through. So right now it's looking relatively quiet. Hey Dirk, what were we doing uh, before the, before, before this? I know this? it was a short time, but I I have amnesia. Oh, I was hoping you would know. Oh boy. I I I've, I've been drawing a blank since we left Sharn. Uh to be honest. Well, since like the second we left, you were like whoever. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, what the fuck is happening? Listen, let's I guess that's homesick. All right. 
he let it define him. I don't know, kind of defines me too, but... Sorry, my mom came in. What? Hi, mom. Hi, mom. No, we're just having fun. What's up? Uh, Who's I'm trying up? to remember what we were doing I'm not before. having a lot of fun. Yeah. We were... Uh, I don't know. So we decided to get up here, and it took us a good while to get up here. Uh, we dropped wasn't off... It to save, wasn't it to save... Um... Gron's life? No. Wasn't there someone who could died Gron died in, in this expedition. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Gron's... Hmm. Gron's Gron promised. Gron died because we were uh, ambushed by the uh, fault... What, what's it by the cult, cult yeah. The cult men that... The robot cult. The Lord of Blades cult. Yeah. They're making. A, they did a trick. They they did a joke on us. Mm. Yeah, no, and I mean that was like a really long time ago. But that was like before we even got to Arathon. I mean, like no, I mean like what what did we do before we get to Arathon? I mean, you came we... here because it was circled on the map. Because it was circled. Oh, yeah. Was oh, it, and we. Um, okay, so we completed one of the that. Or something? Yeah, you were, yes. you were taken out. You took out home and you just took out Holt. Yeah, we completed that. Mold uh, we didn't really learn anything, though, did we? You guys left relatively quickly because it was all falling apart. Um, but um, it. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is all this fucking shit? Oh, I drew what? it. Oh, the stuff north, yeah. Yeah, that was me. The, I did that's, that. That's the first thing I saw when you loaded this map. I'm like, cool. I did that. <laughs> cool map. I get rid of that. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? <laughs> I got distracted by all that junk on the screen. What have we learned right. from my Um. The uh, Warforged kind of absconded with the, with most of the evidence themselves. Um, oh wait, that was the stuff we were supposed to get. Not necessarily, but it is what they came for, and that was like, oh. um, you know, you got you guys didn't really like you didn't hit up the um, like you guys were rifling through desks at the previous place. This one you were just bringing down the house basically. Um. Oh, we let them get away with the stuff we needed. Huh. It's okay. We just gotta blow up the other one and something will happen. Did we need the dozer? Well, we I think we wanted to learn something. <laughs> um I mean sure, uh, yeah, like I we think... thwart I mean, okay, okay. Small victories, we thwarted them. Uh, Small yeah. victories. Big I losing. washed we, all the cushions like, on my couch. Yay. Small, <laughs> okay. victories. Small victories. Small victories. Listen, appreciation where it's due, all right? Small victories. No, no, no. Then I'm just kidding. This is a bigger victory. You know, we, we thwarted them or whatever. That's mm. cool. I thought um, you were going to say the cushions. No, that is a huge victory, too. If I actually, It's actually impossible to wash the cushions on my couch, so uh, they're mm. sewn to the couch. So that would have been a huge victory. I see. <laughs> would have to steam yeah, wash the uh, whole thing. When we were in Batherum, we got a mission from, uh, what's his name? Caspian. Caspian. Yeah, and we, and we decided we didn't, <laughs> yeah, we decided him. we didn't like him. And that was like a huge moment that we had a really long time ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, we took a cart. Yeah, wasn't it to like kill some dude or something? No, yeah, yeah it was the guy to we kill just helped witness. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And we made like that huge decision where it's just like, I guess we don't like Caspian, because he's suspicious. And, yeah, true. So, good, let's remember we made that decision. Um, if we go back to the city, at any point, or really just do anything. We know who to avoid. You probably won't uh, avoid any calls, or just be like, oh yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like somebody like wheels up a mirror to you and you say, uh, we're not available. He just uh, away. King of Mirror. 
Let's hire. Yeah. Let's hire we, someone. We, we, Look, hey, darkness on the mirror. I find a guy who's trying to go into town and I give him a rock and say, "If you see a mirror like next to us, break it, like just for fun. Don't tell yeah. anyone that we told you that this. Here's five bucks. Here's five. Here's five gold. <laughs> Here's five gold. <laughs> You're being chased down the trade roads by like a platoon of guys with mirrors and trying to take them all out. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're just, huh? What? Yeah, What's uh, happening? Huh? I'm not involved in this. Oh, he must be mistaken. Accidentally breaking each one. We're that group of people who are identical to that other group of people who work for Cassidy. You actually, you actually didn't give that job to us. Yeah. <laughs> <That was> somebody <laughs> else. If you haven't seen Witness, then why, pray tell, did I see Witness with half of a, go a golden heart locket and you're wearing the other half? Uh-huh. Uh, I found it. It's I found camp. it. He threw it out, and I happened to like it. Did he have? Why do you have half? all these pictures sense. on social media of you going out and hanging out with witness at an amusement park? And look, you're well, kissing him in this one. We really suck at this double life thing. <laughs> you are kissing him. Look, the Photoshop. You're kissing him with on the tongue. lips. On the lips. That's he doesn't even have a lip. He doesn't even have lips. How did you do that? <laughs> you gave him lips to kiss. It's rather grotesque. You glued human lips to his face. And then <laughs> You're a them. monster. Where You're did you horrible. get those? They were donated by a guy I killed. <laughs> Who was a witness? <clears throat> Speaking of killing guys, keep your eyes up for someone to kidnap. Three people killing. Three people to kidnap. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean... <laughs> we'll find villains. Don't worry about it. It's so far away. Yeah, where is that on the map? It's super far away. Oh. Storm. I mean, it's in the Seems continent, like... but it's like... It's, right there. it's like not easy to get to. We don't even have a boat. I don't see it. I don't see a map more. Go, go to the Mornland, go down. Oh, I see it. It's at the oh, little penis. Um, it's like uh, no like roads or rails. Well, there used to be. Uh, there's something happened though. Sacrifice himself. Wait, what did you say? Have your ex-husband sacrifice himself, and he. Well, he's in the ride. city. Okay, so yeah. we go back to Sean. We pick up. We pick up my ex-husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He he takes us there, and then he. He takes us uh, there because he has a boat. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh, you're so smart. And then he'll sacrifice himself. Well, he doesn't know that. Um, <laughs> he doesn't know that part. <laughs> he doesn't no, know that, but that yes, that is what we'll do to him. Sacrifice city. Sacrifice city. Uh, fuck. Sacrificity? Yes, exactly. You're right, though. He does have a boat. We could just take the boat all the way around. I mean... It might not be a bad idea. I don't know. Both are cool. Charmed, though, and that means that uh, at some point we will definitely have contact. You could even, if you wanted to keep well, fucking. Well, if we just, we just beeline to. If the, you wanted to keep to fucking with mole shit, you could even, you know, zoop over to Sacrifice uh, City. And then, and then do one of these. Yeah, we gotta zoop. Yeah, you're right. We'll use one of the mole's Next bodies. Next by boat, anyways. <laughs> I forget if there were any other things we had to. Well, actually, the other things we had to do, I think, involved Grand and Vothnet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo. Oh, no, there's the Peppy's thing, too. In oh, the, uh, the Puktatuk, yeah, he, the Cradle of Rhyme over yonder. Yeah. Well, so isn't that. that in the Vothnet area? It's, it's in um, the Vothnet and the Grand area. Okay, so, I mean. Yeah, Grand's thing was in Grey Wall. Yeah, that's what the pink circle thing is, I think. Okay, and, um, yeah, I see And that. the spooky witch told you that when the candles burn, those are the prophecy signals for, come talk to me. Get over here. 
Um, which of which you've seen two. You've seen the red and um, and black candle spurn. What's the other one? Pink, yellow, blue. Blue. This blue. thing doesn't have a name. Is the prophecy not pink? No, it doesn't. It all. It, it, there's no name, not on the GM layer or anything. It just doesn't have a name. I, just a <laughs> rune, I guess. Let's give it a name. All right. It's like in uh, Alaska. Sometimes there's little beeps on the map, and it just says ruin. <laughs> in Alaska, it just says ruin. Why? Yeah, it why says like it... ruins or something, and like you can see it like if you go on like flight maps and stuff. Hmm. Where they have like absolutely everything labeled way, 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 way in North Alaska, near the near the coast, there's just like little dots sometimes, and it just says ruins. That's that one on the on the way north side. There's one like on the top edge of Alaska, and for some reason I used to know the name of it, but now I no longer do. That's my story. Choose <laughs> like that it. font. There's so many. F that's good. That's good. So many fonts to choose from. They have updated their font catalog. <clears throat> yeah, I now. appreciate that. Still don't Me? have AR Julian though. It's a fucking mm. rip. R I think Julian. We can say with certainty that the ruin is plot important. I think because so. Yeah. No one knows its name. It's, it's the name sort has of been places. stolen from history. The Pukta That's Tukeda. where the Puktakuk is. It's going there right is. now. He eats cities and takes their history with them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So nobody mm. can write things about him. I think I'm gonna end end the the watch. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's still going. <laughs> well, I mean, like it didn't end. It didn't go to the next one. <laughs> We're, doing no. it. We're doing it real time from now on. We're doing it real time. Yeah. Oh. Um, two hours of this. <laughs> Who the fuck is next? Um, Clinton Grove. We can we can blood. Not you guys are good for the night. Nothing's gonna jump out at you. I want to roll. We're it. done. I'll um, roll. It. No, I'll roll. It. <laughs> no. <I'll> roll. <laughs> um, but you guys awaken in the morning on the. Twenty first of Therendor. <laughs> That's what day it is. Um, and are back amongst the trees feeling mighty refreshed after quite a trying couple of days in Lamania. I, I feel like a new pair of shoes. I and feel he, like new purses. He looks like an old pair of shoes. It's true. And, oh, uh, I thought he said new purses, I swear I thought. Oh. <laughs> Some, yeah, I mean... A very expensive purse that's really cool and makes you excited. I feel like a new purses. Australians yeah. say purses with like eight extra syllables. I feel, I feel like, like a, a new poi stasis. For you long. I know you poi It's like how you gotta put every vowel in a couple of consonants into no. A new purses. No. It's not like no. I, I'm no. feeling. Australian today. No. I could go for a for a for a bottle go, go go get some bricky, listen to Ekadeka, go to Mecca's. Stop it. <laughs> Mecca? <laughs> go into go to Mecca. <laughs> I'm gonna perform the Hajj. He must have fat. I want, I want to kneel at where, where the prophet was in Medina. Go up to his cave. Here's my new wor slang word of the day. I'm mm -mm, on feeling dirty. Let's go. Dirty. 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 D a r d y. I'm feeling dirty. What dirty. is that? What does that dirty. mean? Explain. Dirty. Cool. Okay. <laughs> like, like cold, cool, or like chill? I'm sure that's not literally chill. Okay. Also hip, um, and you know what? Hey, I'm feeling daddy. <laughs> 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 
I'm angry well, that you made me listen okay. to that. As well, a kid. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> so I'm going no, to have fun on your me. shift. <laughs> into, into, into just giving you my attention for that. See, Brit <laughs> British slang sounds like, you know, they're like a child, like they're four years old. And oh, yeah. But Australian slang sounds like they've lost all capacity for human speech. <laughs> and they've just oh, we're gonna to get a go to Wingos! <laughs> I'm feeling pretty blurgly. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit wongle. Hey, it just um... becomes space alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, you should have oh, seen I'm feeling me a bit wongly woogly Down by the Longaloo the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the long galoo? It's the coastline. Um, like... If someone were to say something to an Australian, oh, and the Australian were to say something that, like, honest? Honestly? Be honest? It's like, fair dinkum? <laughs> fair dinkum? Oh my god. <laughs> Which is real. <laughs> Crikey. Yeah. Don't say crikey. Crikey. It's their word. I like looking at this list it's of- It's their word! I like looking at this list of Aussie slang. Number 57 is fuck me dead. Yep. <laughs> okay, I've heard that. Before. Yeah, I know, but it's like- No, I feel and, like, I, no, I feel and, like and that's it, not- I'm from an American either. But I feel like that's not like it, that doesn't feel exclusively Australian because I I feel like I have heard people I've heard that said. I think I've heard that. I haven't heard an American say that. People can just sort of stick extra words at the end of "fuck me" and it and it were "fuck me running," for example. Yeah, that's a wait wait I wait. Hear Americans say fuck no me. one I've ever spoken to has said "fuck me running" before. They whenever I say it, they think I'm fucking crazy. That's a, I mean, yeah, uh, it's an expression. Yeah. It's not common. It's not common. I wouldn't but... say it's common, but it exists. People look at me like I'm crazy whenever I say that. They're like, what the fuck I does that you're mean? you're the only one I know that uses it consistently. <laughs> or more, more than once. I appreciate fuck me running, but like... It's I, a good I, I didn't, turn I don't know of that phrase. I use it in common parlance, but I, I appreciate it. Fuck me funny. Kids I just at, find it better than just fuck me. Number 100, uh, kids at the beach. Shack biscuit. <laughs> what? Shark kids biscuit. at the beach are shark biscuits. The it's sharks good. will eat your children. They call a sick yeah. day off work a sicky. Fuck you. A sicky? Okay, I've heard that one. You're gonna pull a sicky. <laughs> oh, I'm oh yeah, you gotta. Oh, yeah. This is the this is the good one. Everyone a struth. <laughs> yeah, struth, 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 bros. Okay, this means middle of nowhere. Oh, him, he lives out. Whoop whoop. What? <laughs> That's not a joke. That's on the. Wait, list. did you oh. say they live out? Whoop whoop. Yeah, he lives out. Oh. Whoop whoop. You can't say someone lives in Whoop Woo! That means he's in the middle of nowhere. Oh, he's, he's, you know. Oh, he's a fucking Whoop Woo. The car broke down right out Whoop Woop. Fuck off. <laughs> like, at least we have East Bumfuck. <laughs> Don't be such a fucking drongo, mate. Drongo! That's a real one, also. Get a lot of this, Gala. Ah, uh, no wackers. Let's get going. We wake up from our sleep. You wake up from your sleep. Yeah, that nightmare, nightmare of, of Groby <laughs> talking to us is over. <laughs> it's just a like, beauty over and over again. And now, as you wake up, uh, it's not over. He's Fuck wearing, me, he's dead. Wearing... It's a beautiful sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing his budgie smugglers. <laughs> I don't it's have the speedo. <laughs> despite the fact that I lack external genitalia. I use that term because it's funny. Drongo. 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 We walk south. <clears throat> yes, we yes, do. Yes, I also walk south. All right. You arise from the ground and begin to make your way south through the forest again. Back out of the ruins of the, um, where those, uh, guys, you fought those guys, um, 
Are you yeah, heading yeah. for Arathon, or are you like... Uh, We're just going south, man. Right, We're trying to get out of here. Going let's south. go to the Thyrond. The Thyrond. Um... Because the forest hits the river on the south, right? Huh? The forest hits the river, which is also where Arathon is. Arathon is built along the river, yeah. Yeah, we aren't stopping there. Um. Heading south. Uh, let me check something. Here we are. Um, as you're walking, you feel uh, a sudden, bright, intense burst of heat next to you. And you hear yeah. this roaring of fire. It's not good. That um, suddenly dies out, and you see uh, walking next to you rather casually is Hyro. Oh, hi, Ro. Okay. <laughs> get it? <laughs> no. Who's these? Do you get it? No. Grove, you're in danger. Oh, his name's Hyro. Okay, I go to the back of the fucking <laughs> egg, yeah. so everyone's between me and Hyro. Yeah. You've picked up some stranglers. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. How did you find the facility in Lamania? Uh, uh, how did we find it? Oh no, I mean the other <laughs> the other <laughs> meaning for how do you find how did you find I suppose that, Oh yeah, we uh almost that died a lot. Confusing. <laughs> what? No, oh, yeah, we, all, oh, we all oh. died a lot. Um oh, uh it was uh old and gianty. Littered with the ruins of the giants. Yeah, their toilets were everywhere. Oh yeah, I got shit. You have shit. You always <laughs> Poor Peppy always gets shit. I mean, not one thing is another. That's on, that's very fortunate for you. This warforged you traveled with, witness, an old associate of mine. They retrieved the docent and are bringing it back to the Mornland. Yes. Here's what is going on. That leaves only one unaccounted for, then. Yeah, but we're tired. Mm. Dawson's, I meant. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Did it speak to you? What do you mean? Were we didn't. We didn't touch to? it. It did speak to us. What? The docent? The obelisk. Yeah, it said a bunch of junk. Hmm. It also said Hyro is a piece of shit. Yeah. Didn't like I mean, you. true. I mean, no. I mean, it, I mean, he would say that because it you're... He uh, will get his eventually. Yeah, no, because you, you said you did stuff. Hmm. We have crossed paths before. Sometime you ago. and the docent? He is four docents. That was only a piece of him. Okay, so like this is a person or what? No. This you say he. Is one of the creatures from beyond the veil. Oh. And it's male presenting? I suppose. Okay. So it's a four crux. There's four of them? Yes. Four means six. 
the Lord of Blades now holds two, while House Caneth holds another. The fourth is still out there somewhere. Should all four be brought together, this is a very old enemy from the days of the first war of this kind. Of this kind. The days of the giants. The first giant war. With the land of dreams. Okay. And the giants won? The giants halted their progress, but in doing so, brought down the wrath of the dragons to destroy them. Oh, so we can't put it back together because the dragons will kill us. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I'm really not following anything you're saying, but... I, it's great that you're here. How are you? Great. (laughs) Anything else? One sec. It's okay, I'm a teacher, I'm used to this. You ever teach online? Yeah. Yeah. He's back. Um. Hyro, uh, walking next to you. Uh, says allow me to be more clear the docents were built in networks to control the warforged of that time the warforged that were the original models Oh, damn, he said it. They were meant to be an unstoppable foot soldier against the creatures of the dream. Things that could neither dream nor have a mind to be possessed. <clears throat> However, The powerful spirit of that time from the dream plane infected the most potent cluster of docents, imbuing himself in it and turning the warforged against their creators. When the giants learned of this, they scrapped the warforged project and separated the docents, thereby denying this entity any ability to control and trapping him in this plane, in those orbs, where he has remained trapped for thousands and thousands of years. These now, the ones you fight, Mole and the others, they are missing much knowledge of what happened during those days, the war against the giants. Do you know why? What? Do you know why? Were they just not around or? The intricacies 
are not something that I have studied. All I know is that they forget. those who were who are here now were not there then. None of them? Okay. The ones you fight now. Mole, the others, Tirashana. They're too young, they're zoomers. <laughs> sure. So they do that. If you like. But they do have the age then. Yeah. He said they didn't. He's lying. This yeah, one. They just have long lines. This one has knowledge of a different time. When they nearly defeated the most powerful sorceress nation the world has ever seen. However, he is fragmented. And you might have noticed if you spoke to him quite mad. Being trapped in a ball for 3,000 years will do that, I guess. Hard to imagine. Cut off from the dream. <laughs> they mean to bring him together. And when they do, well, I'm not certain, but whatever it is, it will be a large step towards furthering their ambitions. Okay. Hmm. Cool. These four docents, the entity that inhabited them, called itself Tetragrammaton. Tetragrammaton. It believes itself a god. Most things that believe themselves earnestly to be a god are... Of some concern. Easier to like. Sorry. <laughs> you found him particularly charming. More charming than you, sorry. <laughs> Listen, I prefer the closed eyes to the open eyes. Gotta say. Ones who know they're faking it. Ones who honestly believe that they're doing something. Hey. Good for you. Hmm. You're fine. I mean, you're okay. You did not hurt my feelings. You're like a... You're like a... You're okay. You can quit while you're ahead. You can quit while you're behind. <laughs> um. The... Lord of Blades. We go back some ways. But I fear that he is playing into the hands of the enemy by collecting these things. They should be kept apart. They should be destroyed. I am not certain why the Lord sees fit to bring them together. What he thinks he can do with them. Something to be concerned about. And there is still one unaccounted for. The last piece of this false god. Okay, well, you should stop him if you think he's doing something bad. I have been at work. Okay. I actually don't know if Lord of Blades is male. It's a he he he. Not laughing. It's... There's the Lord. Okay. What? I think it'd be Lady. Lady of. Lady of. Why does Lord sound so much better than Lady? It sounds so <laughs> much more sexism. powerful. 
Sex. Sounds so much more powerful. Sexism. It is. It when does sound think, very powerful. The lady is just anybody. Like, hey, lady. Hey, no lady. Like, hey, hey, Lord. Lord. Hey, lady. hey, Lord. Get out. Get out of my way, Lord. No, like <laughs> they're always just like, oh, to, shut up, lady. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get to the stage of the VMAs, and Lord is in my fucking way. Get out of the way, bitch. <laughs> yeah, not lady. Man. Okay. <laughs> let's work. Let, let's think of a new, better word. We'll, we'll workshop that. If they were named Lady, you just... How about, how about instead of Lord, it's Lorb. It's Lord and Lorb. Sounds like Lobe. Yeah. I mean, it's better than Lady. Lorb. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, I went to the Lorb. The, yeah, the Lorb. <laughs> the Lorb. Oh, well. All right, well, we'll have to see how that pans out. That's wacky. This... You are doing a fine job of disrupting their activities, but the longer this goes on, the more likely they will find you. I have endured by keeping myself removed, hidden, for many, many years. I fear that eyes will be trained on you before long, if they are not already. And he sort of nods towards, uh, like, the portable hole that you're carrying. They may have already been at work. I mean. Oh, all our deads? Yeah, probably. I see. I think that's what he's referencing. Yeah, we do have a hole full of cadavers over here. Well, we're, we're just okay with that. There's also <laughs> a living guy in there. Yeah, he's... Oh, God. Hello? <laughs> I'm open my... <laughs> 19? Oh fuck, I forgot about him! He's just been in there with the corpses! <laughs> As you're going for the portable bed. hole, Hyro just says, I have some individuals to interrogate, but I am monitoring your progress. There may be more use for you than I expected. Mm. Oh, I love to hear that. Hyro can provide the bodies for the sacrifice. No, I can't. <laughs> Are you Stepped kidding me? Fire. Dickhead! <laughs> you give, us kidding me? Give, us give us Shmupton! Give us Shmupton! Yeah, just give us Shmupton. That's a good idea. <laughs> Fucking cut Shmupton's head off. She's like, No, guys, please! Please, I'm so happy to see you! Please! <laughs> and then for the second one, we can sacrifice J.I. No, please! No, please. Found your it's mom. got a beating heart. I found your please, mom! Please, I'm alive! I feel it pain! A, it does have a, a homeless man's heart in it. I am fully sapient and sentient. I feel I love feel pain. and fear. I want to live. I want to live. <laughs> I, want I want to, to be live. a real boy. Now we have to I want to be alive. <laughs> We op we open the we open the hole of deads. You open the hole of deads. There within you see deads, and uh, sitting amongst them, you see uh, nineteen, who is awake. He hasn't attempted to escape, so I mean. And he looks. Again, with Warforge, it's kind of hard to tell. They don't really make facial expressions, but. From body language, uh, this is the most horrified you have ever seen him. In a state of shock and horror at sitting here with the murdered bodies of several people who, until recently, were quite alive. Suck, Suck it, it up! I'm sorry, we forgot you were in the corpse hole. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Is yeah, we had a lot on our mind. We were it's pretty also, hurt, so I think you should forgive hole. us. Is this my doing? 
I think you should forgive us. No, but you tried. Oh. I see. Here, uh, get, get out of there, we want to close this thing throat. again. I would, I would like to. <laughs> he exits the portal hole. For future reference, you can like try to fight your way out. You can usually get out. Why would I do that? Try to leave a portable hole? Yes. He loved it in there. I imagined that I was in there for a reason. Okay. I was atoning for my sins. In the in jail? How did I get here? Oh boy. Uh, I guess we don't know. <laughs> Where? Where are, What's the last where, thing you remember? Where, where is here? What's the last thing you remember? Who are you? What? Okay. Did you say who are you? <laughs> you were mind controlled or something trying to kill us in Lamania. Also, I don't know who you are, but I assume you're a friend. Yes, I, I was just about to comment that there is another war forged here and a little lizard that oh. isn't the other one. What? I don't understand what you mean. I'm not a lizard. You seem infinitely more tolerable than the last lizard that was with this group. Oh, you're talking to dead much wives, much. yeah. She had yeah. this whole thing about Peppy's mom. Um. Oh, yep. You had to bring that up again, right? You had to? Sorry, it's just the thing I remember most. <laughs> <clears throat> it was memorable. <laughs> I wasn't there. Just kept talking about it. Like a lot. While I was crashing at your apartment for a time, and she was in there working on uh, biologically monstrifying her robot, she kept on muttering, She's out there somewhere. They're not telling me, but I know it. I'm gonna find <laughs> her. I'm gonna find Peppy's mom. Really, really, really fucking funny. <laughs> he shot and found Peppy's mom first. She's like, hey, I found her. Yeah, yeah, I've been here plunges, like, plunges like four weeks. Plunked his hiding something. <laughs> um, the then last thing I remember, mom. I was in Arrow Dusk with Cole and Zan and Zoe. And Melvin, the bush. And Earl, the centipede. Oh yeah, Melvin! Great, so the last thing you remember, you were with your friends. And now, and then we found you, mind Most controlled. Most of your friends are, yeah, are dead, yeah. Great, cool, okay. And, and well, like all our friends, I was probably I dead. I was there in Arrow Dusk. And... I had... I was coming back from buying something in the market. I don't remember what. No, nope, 7-Eleven. But I had returned to the building. Cole and Zoe were there. I think the bush maybe had gone for a walk. Zan perhaps was around, but I didn't see him. And then, someone came through the door. Two people. There was a... I have a hard time remembering one of them. They... There was something confusing about their appearance. The other one was a woman with long red hair. And they came in very suddenly. I remember drawing my sword. Are you sure it was a woman? I'm sorry. And then I was in the portable hole. Damn, really? 
Well, I God, that must remember. be fucked up for him. I don't remember God, how long it has been or what happened. All I uh, it's remember about is three days. pulling the sword from its sheath. And it was as though I blinked and I was next to Vothnak and Grand. Among friends. I don't know what happened back there. I... Yes, it was a woman. I... Okay, because I was going to say maybe it was Hyro. He's very beautiful, so. I don't know who that is. I... No, wait, I do know who that is. I traveled with him. <laughs> No, yeah, you know, he's, he's would, super he's super beautiful, so... It was no one that I recognized. Oh, okay. Sorry. They had... Luminous eyes. I uh, maybe... That. I think the m and lady went back, went to Sarlona. With her yeah. girlfriend. She also wore a mask. You, you could only notice one person? Yes, the other... <clears throat> was... <clears throat> I think they may have been several people. Well, when I say that, that sounds confusing, but their appearance kept shifting to different faces. It was hard to follow. I mean, that sounds like it. I don't know. Kept changing to different faces? Like yes. a shape changer? I suppose, yes. Or I mean, it really does of, sound like Eminem, but some sort I guess of it's not. bizarre illusion, perhaps, but... Oh, illusion, oh. I, I mean, I don't know, it could have been... I don't have any talent with magic, I don't understand how it works. Or shape-changing, I am... what I am. I think you're fine now, 19. I'm sorry that happened to you. Uh, it, that stinks. It, I hope everyone's okay. Holy moly. It feels very much like I have gone in a very large circle. What do you mean? I have... the progress that I had made reclaiming my own mind. Oh, man, that sucks, you're right. Shit. I was just used as a tool again. And Whoever did that was a real butthead. Holy shit so rude and I don't I don't remember any of it I could have done anything yeah but you couldn't kill us it was fine well I imagine not for lack of trying yeah but we, was <laughs> a 19, we were way too strong well that's fortunate we were really really strong um we were i'm using the past tense i don't know why <laughs> now we're regular again oh well we're regular that's, that sucks <laughs> if, only, if you were still strong this we might have had a chance but now we're fucked yeah no i don't know what happened but luckily at that moment we were really strong and you just you just couldn't do anything uh, but I, you know, 19, we, we were surprised, but I was strangely happy to see you. Good to see that you were up and about, um, up and about, you up know, and just about, thriving. not thriving, but you know, um, It, it was good to know that one, one of one of one of the one of the people we cared about wasn't dead because you know every time I go to sleep I'm like wonder if they're dead. <laughs> wonder so, if tonight's the night. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? It, it was weird. I was I was strangely happy to see you, even though it was a, 
um, not under the greatest circumstances. Um, I know this has this doesn't do anything for you, but um, I uh, well, you know, let's go check on the check on the kids. Let's continue walking. In arrow dusk. Yeah. Well, if you think it is best. I mean, we, we were on our way away from this whole place anyway. Yes. I... I don't know. I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained right now is all. Um, I don't know what happened to Cole. Or to Zoe, or to Zan, or even the bush. Well, we'll find out. I hope so. Well, um... <clears throat> I'm sorry for trying to kill you under mind control again. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's happened to... It's okay. Uh, actually, Dude. it's happened to most of us now. Dirk, Dirk stabbed me so many times. <laughs> yeah, Dirk was a little stabbing machine. I, I was... was I, listen, <laughs> 19, <laughs> you have never put me in a state of fear as much as Dirk has in these past couple days. That's true. <laughs> I honestly was actively sprinting away from him. <laughs> arms wow in stabbed. the air. Wow stabbed. Flailing. Arms in the air. Help me, help me. Gods think, help me. I think, will we wake up? Will Dirk finally do it? Is this the night? Well, it is fortunate then that I have a weak sword arm to go along with my weak will. You know, I... W Dirk, Dirk would say that if he were alive and with us today. I I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> If Dirk was I'm here, sorry. bless his soul. Bless, rest in peace. God bless. We we did put him down. Uh, <laughs> I mean, after he, after he stabbed us, after he stabbed us, like we had to eat an item. He'll go after anything that moves. Ah! Dirks are like pit bulls, really. We're gonna be, yeah, we're going to the vet right now, actually. He's um, he is very much like a pit bull. He just was trained wrong. <laughs> Um, I... He was badly trained and grew up in a shit environment, and now he's aggressive. Just like he was, he he was also, he was also bred to hurt people. He, yeah. you know, I say to nineteen, I say, nineteen, your willpower is likely average. You are just controlled by a greater power. Happens to some of us. Well, I wish I could take comfort in that, but okay. I'm glad you're better now. I thought I was better before, so I suppose we'll see. Hey, sure. 19. If it's any consolation. That's a song by be. Steely Dan. That whole sentence, or? No, just Hey, 19. Oh. I might have music It's that one from... that goes. Do, 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 Maybe I know. It. Do, 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 do. I'll listen to this version. Uh, oh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh! 19, turns out I've been mind-controlled too, and that I might have killed a whole lot of people, and maybe I was there at the morning, so, like, oh. um, like, it's... Don't kill me, though, but, like... I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't planning on... I mean, like, and don't turn, don't, don't, just don't do anything about it. Don't, don't do don't anything do about this newfound information. Just, just take this I'm not, information and, I'm not sure and how don't to do process anything. that, or if it's true. So I can't do anything with it, really. Oh, I'm pretty sure I was mind controlled. If I wasn't mind controlled, that would have been really bad of me to do. Well, that. Let's, let's hope that you were mind controlled then. Yeah. See, see. At least see, you didn't do pretend. that knowing. And if you weren't, <laughs> well. At least well, you had shit. a factory reset. Uh, maybe. I guess we'll see. No, I still... Unless, you know, my dreams could be plants. Everything could just be fake. 
Yeah. It could all just be fake. Oh my gosh, thank you, 19, for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> it could all just be completely meaningless. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're it's right. all a psyop. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but... What I do know is that we were given the shiny rock to tell us <laughs> that that when everything is not good and fake it will tell us the truth and even that was fake unless things will get even faker how could it possibly get more fake go down more faker Well, I guess we'll have to find out. He turns to Glint. Hello. Hello? Brother. Brother. Hi. Brother. Brother. His name's Glint. He's blue. Are you a fighter? His name's cause? Glint. He's blue. Yes, He's... I'm here to make sure they don't fuck up. At whose behest? Somewhat mine. Somewhat witness. Oh, this is a Lord of Blades guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> time to oh. go to time. We all have a cause. We all call it the cause. So it's kind of confusing. Yes, that is, that is, that is tough. <laughs> I think that people and Warforged can still coexist personally. Mm, sure. Talk. I'm really I I like this guy though. Probably with Warforged on a higher tier though. <laughs> we'll talk about that. I don't want you to have more tears. <laughs> I want you to have fewer tears. No more tears. I have Only some opinions about that. Daddy. On the five of society, um. I which... wonder if Milu's dead. Did you send Milu, Milu with them? <laughs> I don't know. I, st I assumed you just still had Milu. Yeah. For Milu's probably. I checked to see if she's dead. <laughs> you check in your person; she's alive. Because I'm not just gonna fucking kill the cat because you got hit by a fireball or something. It'd be a huge bummer. It would suck ass. Nobody would ever have pets in the game. I mean, I I don't know. You find Milu exploded in your pocket. It's okay, oh, she did better. <laughs> just open your first like, oh man! <laughs> I'll kill, a, I'll kill a combat a pet. Uh, an animal that doesn't do nothing? Why would I kill that? What's the point? <laughs> she does Be something. Edgy. She has claws. They do one. They do one? They do one I attack. never killed... On I, let, I let a Roshni scuttle around in the background for <laughs> the it's entire true. duration of Cinderella. She didn't do shit. Milo's gonna game get change the game, game change the game. We're gonna be fighting the final final bubble. It's mostly because you told me if Arashni was ever actually on the battle map, she would die within a quarter second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's pretty, she was pretty weak. She had like twelve health or something. Uh, one. She was just a regular spider, really. No, she was a giant wolf spider. Oh yeah, so that yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Oh it, okay. By that point, it was one. It was funny because you picked a pet uh, of a thing that you physically could not bring yourself to look at. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. So we had to find that cute comic book spider for her token the couple times we used it. Yeah! Spiders are hard to look at sometimes, they're the inconvenient truth. It's the eyes for me. It's the eyes that get me. I can't see a spider's eyes all the time. Which, which is why, when I see a spider in real life, I'm like, oh, well, this is upsetting. But I can kill it without too much difficulty. One but day spider will evolve to be unkillable. Yeah, then we'll have to all do the Dixie Cup method. They will so, become... What is the Dixie forest. Cup method? You just put them in a cup and throw them outside. Yeah, oh, okay. That. I thought there was like a technique. Suffer no spider to live. Uh, yeah. Well, my Dixie cup method is two cups. Get the spider in one cup, put the cup on in the other cup. But, you know, there's enough space for the spider to exist in there when they are mm -hmm. stacked like that. And then but push this it way, down further so there is no more space for it to exist. 
Well, I don't, I don't know if it'll be enough force, but um, this way, at least, the fear of it crawling out onto your hand will go away. Um, yeah, I feel like if I put a spider in a Dixie cup, it would do that within seconds. I feel like it might crawl out, yes. Um, so then I stack that in there, and then I take it outside, and then I sh shake it violently because I'm very afraid. <laughs> <laughs> while screaming and, then, and, and crying. harmlessly flies out. And, <laughs> Don't they have black widows spot. where you are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're like right outside my door. Oh, tough. Right now they're not. They got brown recluses where I am. I saw one. I killed it on fake Halloween. They got uh, brown... Fake Halloween? Brown yeah. widows. Too, yeah, you're gonna need to... You can't just poisonous. say fake Halloween. What the fuck is fake Halloween? It was that year that it was like... It, like the weather was too fucked up on Halloween so nobody went out. So but then, then nothing happened. Went out like the next weekend or something. Uh, Interesting. Do you remember that? I remember there was a Halloween where they said there was going to be a huge snowstorm and then absolutely nothing happened. So no one went trick or cheating. Psyop to stop people from getting candy. It's and true. I went out on fake Halloween, I was wearing work boots because I was disguised as like a disguised. <laughs> I was dressed. Yeah. Up. I was disguised. <laughs> I don't know, I was like a serial killer or some shit. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, I'll put on my work boots for this. Serial killer might wear work boots. And then I saw a big uh, brown recluse spider, and I knew what it looked like because of my big book of bugs. Um, and it was on a it was on a, a, a pillar next to this guy's house, and I, I kicked it with my, with my work boot, and it died. That's my story about seeing... Not much of a recluse. No, it was, but, um, it was, quite, it was quite visible. That's my story about killing a, a deadly spider. Good job. All the children cheered and reared. They, I, I told them that I killed a spider, uh, but they didn't give me more candy. Mm. I should have told them if that thing got into your house, your children would be dead. But then they meant not have given me any candy. Yeah. Because then I'm... they'd be like, well, you put it in there. You, you, you brought plan, this you brown recluse. It. Yeah. That's a brown recluse plant. We've hey, ma'am, you got time. a brown recluse outside out here, over here. Would you like me to kill it for $20? <laughs> it's $20. Just, it's just, uh, is, that your, is that your van over there? The one with like 15 aquariums full of giant spiders? <laughs> the no, 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 no. That's not mine. Ma'am, you have a rat problem. Would you like me to take care of it? For fifty dollars, yes, okay. It picks up your pet rat off their porch. <laughs> All Man, right, you thank you so problem. much. Th the yeah, problem I've, is I've you don't cleared, have a rat. I've cleared the problem. I've got it right here. I'm am aminal control. <laughs> I'm aminal control. <laughs> I throw I a brick. I throw a brick through someone's window, and tied around the brick is a plastic bag filled with bees. <laughs> <laughs> I run up to the door problem? and say, Ah, oh, it looks like you might have a bee problem, I say, out of breath, <laughs> having run around <laughs> the side of the house from the window. What's that in your well, other well, hand? Yeah, in the the, oh, that's another brick in case I could... Anyways. <laughs> I'll take care this, of those bees This is bees my phone. For you. I'm from the 80s. I'll take care of those bees for you. I'm from the 80s. This is my this is my car phone. It's this newfangled new invention. You can call from your car. You can yeah, which is such a you should have talked on phone and drive. I saw it on the latest episode of Magnum PI. Oh, Magnum P. Yeah. I. Well, okay, maybe Magnum Pi. Anyway. Magnum die. Come on. Uh, 19? Yes. Let's go to <laughs> nice, the nice. place. Very well. Very well. Okay. So the bulk of what was the problem in Arathon, uh, this part of Arathon was the lycanthropes who are a bit scattered at the moment on account uh, their shit just got fucking pushed in. I guess you could say we turned the lycanthropes yeah. into dicanthropes. It's a shame. No, it's not really very good. I don't they, think I would say that. Shut up. <laughs> that, that, yeah, the sound on that one is not great. What? Shut I said uh, lycanthropes, like moss. That's the joke. What? 
because they're not. That's a good. That's a good pun. I'm gonna use that for when you guys fight. Oh, uh, I misheard an it. Version of the stone tripe in in Sandroa. I didn't say that, but let's say I did. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't sound it out in my head before. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hmm. <laughs> let's go to the next part of this session. No, what's a throat? <laughs> Anyways, um. You have a throat goat. No. <laughs> we go to uh, right. we, we we go to Aerodon. So you're you Wait. are <clears throat> you are going to Arathon? Aerodon. Oh, Air, you mean Errol Dusk? That's the one. So do you want to then go right. west to meet with the so, road north? We want to go. Because the road is south of us, right? <clears throat> there's a road west of us as well, but I mean, there's one closer to the west or south of us. So. Technically, where you are, it's more or less equidistant, but it would be a longer walk to Errol Dusk if you went south, because Errol Dusk is north of where you are. Because we gotta. Well, I don't. Personally, Glint doesn't give a shit. Well, actually, maybe the sacrifice is gonna be found there. Uh. But you guys probably, well, maybe Peppy or Dirk or Jane want to check on Zoe and Zan, who may not be there anymore, right? Well, that's why they were going there in the first place. Yeah, okay. To, to see if there was any uh, anything awry with their chums. Any... Uh, let's say, let's say a wester westerly heading, then. Mm. Um. Uh, give me a, give me a d twenty roll. I'll do it. Fourteen. Tight. Um. Just give me two more. All right. I'll do one. Uh, yeah. Eleven. Yeah, but Dabba. Who else? Wait, there's more? Yeah, just there. give me one more. Okay. Hold on. I'll, I'll try. There you go. <laughs> no! Um, alright. Nothing. You push west, hacking and slashing and whacking your way through the dense forestry uh, of, of the Thornwood. Um, trying to uh, cut your way to the northern road that leads deeper into Thrain uh, towards uh, Errol Dusk. Um, and for the most part, your journey seems to be uneventful. You catch strange creatures moving in the underbrush, hear odd hooting and howling and gibbering sounds, but they uh, keep some distance from you. You're traveling in a relatively large group, uh, and predators are somewhat discouraged by that. However, as you, uh, as the day drags on and you push yourself a little bit past midday. You feel like you're based on, you know, how far it took you to walk uh, east into the Thornwood to begin with. You figure walking west, you can't have that much further to go, realistically. It would be crazy. And yet... Trouble is suddenly afoot. Here is the trouble. No. Um, I would like everybody to roll me a d20. Again? Just no, no additions. Just every person, just give me a d20. Six. I got the best number. Why? Six. I rolled it. I got the best number. Right here. But his number got green. green? I got green number. Good. I think you might have gotten the best number, Bird. I have the best number. Why? Because it's six. 
Okay, we all did it. Soviet Pengul. Nightfall. Six. Nightfall. Nightfall loves jerky. Uh, as you guys are walking along, you can see all of a sudden these huge uh, trees bending and twisting around you. And you're sort of looking at them as like, are those trees? Moving? And then all of a sudden, the furnace turns on. All of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, Jane and Dirk feel massive vine-like lengths of root studded with thorns whip round their legs like lassoes. And both of you are yanked away from the rest of the group and <laughs> up into the canopy. Oh. Um, well, that stinks. Okay. Both of you guys take. Uh, here's my shit. Uh, you both take 10 points of piercing damage. And you are dragged suddenly away from your compatriots and yanked upside down like you're hanging from a snare trap. Uh, leaves and branches in your hair, face all sort of cut up from being rip through dozens of branches and as you're swinging there upside down with these thorny vines wrapped around your your ankles and shins you can see uh the tree that these vines are attached to the bark on the side of it just sort of splits and you see an enormous gaping mouth opening and you can see deep within, in the hollow of its uh, tree cavity, you can see ancient, uh, ancient's probably that word, old animal and some humanoid bones within the interior ah. of this tree. And Bruh. it gets ready to feed. And I get ready to Missy stuff. How, uh, nice. How, uh... Far up are they? Uh, they've been lifted about. Uh, this would be about forty feet in the air. That's pretty high. Cool. Dirk, you're. Dirk is fine, right? I can misty step out, so I'm good. I'm fine too. Okay, I don't. I just watch you solve it. I watch uh, you get out. Dirk immediately yeah. misty steps. And falls ten feet, because it's a thirty foot. You take three points of damage, face planting back uh, on the ground. That's fair. I um, move away from the tree to be not within vine range. However, Jane is being swung towards this gaping, ravenous tree maw. Yeah, so I cast Confusion. Hmm, I see. Uh, Let's see. How, I, what, don't, I don't know if that was the best idea, but it was the first thing that I Let's see what it of. do. Nightfall, Ju come back. It just says creatures. Okay. It's a creature. Okay, I don't know how confusion works. I've never cast it on purpose. Roll a d10. D10, got it. Done. Actually, I'm supposed to do it, but it's fine. I don't care. Oh, well. Um, it uses... Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's what it says. It says a creature can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each of its turns to determine its behavior for that turn, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um... It yeah, must use all of its movement to move okay. in a random direction. It goes nowhere. It's a tree. It's a <laughs> but, tree. That's, but that's its action. It's done. And it just sort okay. of seems dazed. Ugh. Well, I moved myself away from this somehow. What do I do? What do I need to um, do? What do I need to... Wait. That, wait. That was my action. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> We're back I, around top to Jane. <laughs> I fire a of acid at the vines. Not the ones that are around Jane, but the ones that are, you know, extended. Drove some <laughs> Just set Jane on fire, fucker. <laughs> okay. I, um, I guess fireball. Um, so you're shooting, you're shooting a globule? 
Yeah. It's a dexterity shaving throw. He fails. Yay. I gotta do the number. Where did it is? Eight acid on his funny vines. Uh, you see the vines uh, snap, crackle, and pop with sizzling acid heat. Um, but they do not break or sunder. She is still held upside down in this thorny, thorny snare. That's bullshit. All right, kill him. Somebody kill him. I don't know. Do the other two of you can try to do something if you want. Peppy's not mm -hmm. interested. He's evil. I'm evil. He's evil. He says, I'm evil. A look ah, I'm evil. His fingers. He's smirking. Oh, look. His hat is rising up evilly. What? <laughs> ah, Peppy's place. evil. Oh, look. It's oh, rising up. Annoying. Look, it's chickens under his hat saying he's evil. Oh, it's so cute. Get out of there, chicken. It's filthy. What? He's I'm hiding horns under his hat. <laughs> Nightfall, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Nightfall. My plan for next turn is going to be so awesome. All right, Glint and Peppy don't do nothing. Jane, back to you. I don't know what back to do. To me. Back to me. I attempt to do my thing, and that thing is to free myself. Make a strength yeah. check. Sure thing. Let me Stop see what that is. Sleepy disease is attacking. Yeah, I'm very sleepy here. right now. Oh, I could, okay. I cut caffeine on my diet. And it's killing me. It's hard. Yeah, going from one to three monsters a day to zero. Is oh hard. my god. I think if I had three monsters a day, I would fucking die. I would well, too. One to three. There's a range. I think oh, would you look at that? 20, holy shit, hey, baby. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, baby. That's like, I don't that's need better. no man. <laughs> I don't need nobody to save me. <laughs> you just reach up, and with uh, with uh, great female empowerment, <laughs> you, <spray laughs> you. Uh, you girl boss the, the thorns yes, right off your leg. Exactly. Uh, you fall uh -huh. down, that's the gatekeep and gaslight part, is you falling. <laughs> um, yeah, and you say, I, I didn't fall. You say, you you say I, I didn't fall? Girl? You're misremembering. Are, are you imagining I fell because I'm a girl? Listen, I don't like girl boss, I prefer boss babe. Boss Thank babe. You. Boss baby. Boss baby. <laughs> Up. Boss okay, and or boss baby. <laughs> All right, so the boss baby oh, falls out of the out tree, of having pried the thorns uh, from around her stubby uh, infant legs. Yes, that Plummets is definitely down, what describes me. Head to be cushioned by that enormous uh, soft, pa soft cranium. Yes. She's gonna That's land on a rock and have a dent in her head spot. forever. It's just gonna get stuck like that. It'll dampen the blow, it's fine. Do you think okay, if, like, would, do you think if, like, you took a baby, right, and you, like, just, like, palmed its head real good, yeah. you could get their skull to grow with your handprint on the back of their head? Yeah. <laughs> just really fucking squeeze it. Just squeeze That's it yucky. real good. Squeeze it till a little juice comes out. <laughs> a little bit of the juice, a little baby like juice. A, comes out. You know, a little bit of that baby juice. They don't need all that, it's extra. <laughs> it, it's, they got too much as it is. That's People, yucky. They don't need all of it. It's yucky. People, it's in there. It's not supposed to be in there. Get it out. Please. People, should mark People their need babies. to clean their babies better. Mark <laughs> their scalps like a recent sidewalk. A new sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. Brand new. What about like a, like a Lego piece? <laughs> yeah. Just stick it right in there. When, when, when it drops. After you step on one and just die. Yeah. I step, <laughs> you, I step you on believe. it. In my, in my death throes. I, I jam my Lego piece into my baby's forehead so it leaves a permanent indentation. Yes. That means your baby can is now officially a Lego piece. It's a piece. third eye. Yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> granting him enlightenment. He should be he should be thankful. Um, so um, I succeed and we all fall run. down forty feet. Uh, no problem. I've, I I. It's gonna hurt. It's fine for Jane. That's probably like wow. That's like wow. Holy shit! You took max damage. No, you took four less than max damage. 
That's 20 damage. Uh, you take 20 points of bludgeoning damage as you just wow. slam, boom, <laughs> leave a I fucking mean, Yamcha crater in the ground. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite large, so. Yeah. I'm a lot huge, of Huge, high constitution ass slams right into the ground with an earth shattering kaboom. And as the dust is still settling, we are running. You are yeah. hustling out of there with great speed to uh, get away from that hungry, hungry tree. And then, like, five minutes later, you burst out the side of Arathon, uh, uh, the Thornwood. Oh, good. You're, like, right there. Hey, I didn't know that's how Errol Dusk was spelled. How okay. did you think it was spelled? Uh, like, E-R-O-L. Well, no. it isn't. It's it's that way. Nice. Huh? Uh, yeah. So it goes. And you breathe the deep, sweet air of the regular air of place. Uh, it smells so regular out here. Do I have like a track? We're like almost halfway. What was I using for the for the road music? Hey, hey, y'all! I have mm -hmm. a, con a concession to make. What's going on? Um, I need to concede to this. Uh, I think red hair person who came in. Her 19 you might have been a person that I know. You know now or knew in the past? You know a red hair person? No, in the past. I said past. I meant to say past. I'm not trying to be stupid. It's just coming out. Is this somebody we've met? No. No, it's like one of the, it's one of the people who I was with before, maybe. Um, they, uh, were doing weird stuff with people's brains, maybe. Though, that's just what it seemed like. I don't know, the last time somebody spoke to me about this, they were saying, like, Oh yeah, red red hair was uh, really angry and didn't seem to like you or something. And then like, and then like, all of a sudden one of the friends that was there with us started acting really weird and like confused and like kind of just sitting and being quiet instead of doing stand up routines like she did every day. She was a comedian or something. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, so that's my concession that I needed to make to you. Okay. Please, please don't arrest me. I'm going to arrest you now. Okay, well, I asked you not to. I'm sorry, it's the rules. I'm a cop now. Uh, that piece evil. Why did we make him a cop? We did this to him with our abuse. There were only a Why couple did we do this? There were only a couple career paths left to him when he turned evil. I go yeah. up to Neppy and I take the badge off his jacket that turned him into a cop magically by possessing him, and then I throw it into a hole. Is he normal now? Well, he's still evil. He's yeah. he's still evil. He just. He's just unemployed now. He's no longer <laughs> he's no longer has power vested in him by the state. Hey Peppy. But yeah, thank mm -hmm. you for doing that. That was a good idea for you to do that. Yeah. It was a good call. Sorry, Peppy. About your it's job. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> so Peel, <laughs> you know what, Peppy? <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not unemployed anymore because you're you work at the Bank of Grove now. And What's your that job mean? is to greet people who walk Is in. this Walmart? Well, yeah, but it's a bank. He's not old enough to do that. 
And so, well, he, he needs he, to be like at least eighty. I cast Ageify on Pevy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for him to go to work. All right, Grandpa, it's time for you to go stand around for eight hours. This is what we. <laughs> Look, it's arrow dust. Oh shit! I hate that. I'm pointing to it on the map. I, I look <laughs> and you I walk look. north along the trade roads through Thrain. I think Thrain basically, like, geographically, uh, climate-wise, it's pretty similar to the part of Breland you were traveling through before. It's just a lot of it's a lot of grassland and a lot of like small copses of trees. There's nothing more striking about that, but you do notice as you're walking down the road, uh, you're passing, you know, you see some small hamlets off in the distance and so forth and um, uh, little, little communities. Uh, definitely um, they all seem a little more like closed off than some of the more like pastoral um, little almost like Bavarian villages in Breland. Um, these are most of these communities, even the small little hamlets have have walls built around them and the majority of them have uh, have watchtowers, um, many of which have some kind of presumably magically treated silver flames burning in braziers at the top. Um, it's not quite like militaristic. It's it doesn't look like it's meant to like intimidate or or anything. But it's it's more it's certainly more defensible. Um, you also <clears throat> along the road pass. Probably a dozen little roadside shrines, uh, just little statues and sculptures out of stone or wood or whatever of Tira Miran holding her little sword um, uh, proudly with fires burning around her and offerings lift at them. Occasionally you pass uh, people who are just like full on head touching the soil, bowing to it, or praying or something. Um, like, like, you pass full on. by them quietly. Yeah. Like, uh, like, face and mecca praying. Um. Yeah. 2.30 p.m. Yeah. The, the big tower started wailing, so it's time to do it. Every day. Um. Ugh. Araldash is, if you came out there, then it's like, you're going to have to have a sleep before you get to it, I think. Um. <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. <clears throat> but you, uh, <clears throat> like the, the main trade road in Braylon seemed relatively safe, but it was like a little sparser. In Thrain, as you're walking, you're passing often uh, processions of, like, clergymen in silver robes and uh, little units of uh, horse-mounted archers uh, who ride on past. Um, it's well populated with people who look like they could take care of themselves. Um... And you imagine that the roads are probably pretty safe in Thrain, for the most part. Uh, so you feel um, feel relatively secure uh, pursuing this path. Um, I feel very really secure. But the sun begins to dip beneath the horizon uh, as time goes on, and you come into the night time, uh, probably <clears throat> still a good couple hours outside of Errol Dusk. You can keep pushing on through the night to get to the town, um, but you know it's up to you. What do y'all think? Oh, Zoe's gonna be thrilled if yeah. she's alive. 
I hope I she's just... alive. That would be really good. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be great. So that we can tell her what happened to Bofner. She's gonna be thrilled that she uh Bofner. She's gonna be so happy. Dead. So happy. Yeah. So happy. She's gonna be the happiest girl at the ball. And the ball <clears throat> is his funeral. Also, I should note you are like you do see uh not quite like one to one with the road, sort of like weaving nearer and farther from the road. Uh, you do see the procession of little, um, like metallic triangles uh, built onto the ground that make up the the lightning rail, uh, which which does go to Errol Dusk. So you're just seeing it. You're like, yeah, hey, there it is. Hey, there it is. Oh, there's Mickey. Mickey. Yeah, that's Errol Dusk. Hey, Duck. Mickey. Oh, You're, mascot. So fine. So You're so fine. fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. Everybody else, join in. Hey. Hey. Hold your normal. Hold your hey, normal. Mickey. Hold your normal. It's Mickey. Hey. Okay. It's You're Mickey. Okay. So what are you doing? Are you <coughs> pushing on or? She doesn't like it, Ellen. How long would it take to push on? Nightfall. Probably I another like see. three, three and a half hours. Let's let's push on. We we're we we didn't do anything. You know, we slept. We're okay. all full again, right? right? You'll get there probably uh, given the time of year. Um, yeah, it'll probably be like around nine by the time you get there. So it's actually not going to be that late in the night because the sun's pretty much just gone down. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you advance through the night. Um, and as you do, you see, uh, in the... As as the you know the sun fully disappears and the moon rises, um, you're uh, momentarily a little bit concerned that these will be like the roads in Brayland, which are not like they're not really properly illuminated. They're uh, you know you you pull out a torch and you walk through the bottom of the ocean when it becomes night in a lot of places along the road in Brayland. Um, but here in Thrain. Uh, as, as darkness fully takes uh, the land, you see along the sides of the road just little <laughs> floating orbs of silver, silvery, flamey light just sort of spark into being lined along the side of the main roads, giving this shimmering, uh, firelight flickering silver light that uh, makes it uh, quite a bit easier to see by uh, as you as you continue to walk. Wow, um, I can see so good. Yeah, you can see, you can you do this, you see I see my hand, and you pull it out here, you can still actually see it over there. Um, oh, no. What the fuck? These are very pretty lights. I, I hope they don't. I will be right back. I hope these lights aren't connected to. Must made a weird noise settling. Um, incredibly violent religious hegemony. Uh, what, what? 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 I said I hope these lights aren't connected to some sort of incredibly violent religious hegemony. No, mm. just a just a regular religious ceremony hegemony. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, it depends on who you are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not not every silver flamer is busting down doors in Drome to drag goblins out by their fucking short hairs. He lied. They are all evil. Um. That's okay. There are some good ones. The Pope, the current Pope, hates that shit. Yay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. The 12 year old Pope. Pope. Yeah. The young Pope, Pope, if you will. Pope denounced his pedophilia is, and all yeah. that. It's a crazy take for a Pope to have. He not, does cover it up, though. Not to want to kill all the... 
the monsters. Yeah. Probably covers it up, though, where it happens. The 12 year old Pope? Yeah. Nah, the 12 year old Pope Thanks. is chill. Um. Don't think 12 year old Pope ain't got no powers. Useless Pope. Actually, she explicitly does. That's why she's the Pope. They don't just let anybody oh. become the Pope. It's like a dumbass. Wait, are we line. talking about. Is this like the second season of The Young Pope? And no. The new Pope is like a 12 year old. No, we're talking about Eberron. No, the the well, voice of the is, flame the is more like. Uh, is in I was lo I was. Voice of the flame is like the sorry. Dalai Lama, you know? Mm. It's like a. Like they just yeah. find. They're like, oh, fuck, Great. this is the one. Oh, shit. That's why it's a 12 year old girl right now. They're like, well, I guess that's the one. Shit. She's got the juice. Uh, I guess that's the thing now. <laughs> um, she, she shoots off some silver flame to like, uh, I guess that just happened. She flies now. They fly now. Does she fly? They Maybe. fly now. Bird. 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 Oh, wait, Burn. he said he was going to be right back. Oh, yeah, he did. Fuck. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay. As night progresses into deeper night, you are suddenly taken by the sight of a city. Relatively quaint city. Not very large. Um, probably, like, on par with um, Hatheril, which you passed briefly through. Uh, on your way to uh, to Cragor the first time. Um, it's a small town. You'd gather... Uh, I mean, not like a t small town, like a small city. So, like, a, not quite a town, but not much of a city. Um, walls... Uh, built uh, very similarly to a lot of the um, the structures that you've seen, um, decorated on the outside with these um, large mosaics of uh, silver arrowheads, uh, the, the symbol of the silver flame. Um, can't really see much from the exterior, just these well-treated silver walls. Um, and in contrast to many of the walled cities that you've come across, this one does not bear the marks of war. It does not bear any scars, really. Um, the stonework doesn't look, like, brand new, so it's not like it was, like, recently renovated. It just looks to have been a place that maybe was spared some of the horrors that a lot of the other cities had to endure. This is a place that managed to stay out of it, more or less. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you approach these uh, relatively pristine walls, uh, and you can see sprawling on the outskirts of the, uh, of the walls. Uh, well, well for, for some distance around the walls, you can see large patches of... Uh, um, agrarian land, uh, a lot of farms and uh, uh, things of that nature, uh, very much uh, built in the middle of a large uh, uh, amount of farmland. Um, but immediately around the walls is this kind of sprawl of tents, uh, this this large multicolored tent city that just um, spills out around. Uh, the, the exterior walls and uh, near some of the, the main gates. Um, and all along the rim of those walls, uh, you see uh, braziers, uh, huge braziers, probably like 20 odd feet across, containing more burning silver bonfires uh, that give a nice glow out uh, from the sides of Errol Dusk. Um, it looks, I mean, it looks relatively nice. This looks relatively nice. Hey, 19, point us to the house you're, you are in. <clears throat> Let's get in. Let's get, get Very us in well. the city. 
Follow me then. Mm hmm. 19 okay. takes the lead and begins to lead you uh, towards the main gates through this uh, tent city. And as you're walking through the tent city, uh, it's it's getting later in the night, so there's not, like, a shitload of activity going on. But you can, like, see little bonfires and smell um, food cooking and hear people sort of talking and laughing and there's some music playing. Um, and you look left and right and you can see the overwhelming majority of people in this uh, tent city are shifters. Um, cool. Uh, a very large population of shifters, it looks like, of all, you know, of all stripes, some even striped. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> gonna kill this guy. Um, and they, I mean, they look like this, this is, you know, it's not the nicest looking environs that you've ever seen, but as far as tent cities go, this is probably the most peaceful and, um, you know, uh, well kept that you've, you've seen in your, in your time in ostensible slums. Um, and you can also see a lot of iconography of the Silver Flame. Um, even these, uh, shifters, somewhat marginalized by the Silver Flame, one might say. Uh, those who have set up shop here around, uh, uh, Dusk have, uh, some, some degree of faith, uh, in, in the flame. Probably why they choose to stick around instead of leaving Thrain for a place that generally likes shifters better. Um... But there's not, like, I mean, it doesn't look like they're living in squalor, or they're living in, you know, they don't, there's no guards walking around beating the shit out of anybody. It's not quite like the, uh, some of the slums you've seen in, like, Sharn. It's more like they're just outside of the walls. <laughs> um. <clears throat> anyways. Um. And you can see, you can see some more, like, monstrous, like, some goblins here and there, and some... Uh, but it's like it's like ninety percent shifters. Um, but you come up to the main gates, which are uh, at this time of night they would be closed. Um, yeah, at this time of night they'd be closed. But you guys are travelers and you look relatively respectable, so um, you know calling up to. The guards above, they'll crack the fucker open and let you through. Not a big deal. Thank you. Um, and you step inside. And behind these walls, what you couldn't see before is the the relatively small, quaint city, Feral Dusk. Um, cobblestoned, pretty much uniformly. Um, very polished pale cobblestones uh, winding through streets of these uh, very elegantly uh, sculpted largely stone buildings um, a lot of stone and wood um, but, but definitely a lot of stone um, and quite a bit of greenery um, gardens rolling uh, uh, through the intersections uh, ooh, that fucker's turning on again. It scared the shit out of me this time, actually. Um, and a quiet amount of commerce moving through the streets. There are not really many shops open at the, at this point of night. There's a couple of, like, pop-up stalls and stuff still hawking wares at, at this time of night. But Errol Dusk strikes you as the kind of place with an early bedtime. Um, not... Not like enforced, but it's just it's just the way they roll uh, here. It's a it's a quiet place. You you know having a little bit of a snippet of conversation, you feel your voice carry. Uh, it's not it's not bustling by any means, and obviously it's later in the day, so it wouldn't be. But um, yeah, not the kind of place that has a rollicking nightlife. <laughs> and. Uh, you can see uh, a lot of the austerity and, uh, you know, religious 
uh, trappings of Thrain. There's got to be like a shrine on every fucking street corner. You see what looks like a dozen different uh, towers and steeples and so forth that uh, denote uh, temples to the silver flames scattered across the area. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of the places you've been have have uh, uh, more weathering to it, more signs that the country just came out of a hundred years of war. But if you were to, you know, spend your time here, if this is where you, you know, you would you would be forgiven for not knowing that a war had ever happened anywhere. Uh, yeah. It is. It looks untouched. It looks peaceful. It looks clean and crisp and benign. Light and scary. We. Nineteen leads you through the streets. Um, you're sort of nodded to by processions of archers uh, who walk along. Archers being the primary uh, type of soldier in Thrain. Uh, archery is holy to them. You know, I'm not 100% sure why, because Tira Moran ha- ha- wielded a sword, but uh, it, the archers are holy to them. Um, but you can light arrows on fire a lot easier, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Um, you can light a sword on fire if you coat it in something. Yeah, the fire it wouldn't be as it would be a little more unsettling because you'd be holding it. Ah! But whew. yeah. <clears throat> um. Uh, leads That'd you along until you eventually come to this squat sort of uh, not quite marble, but like faux marble. It's made to look like marble. Uh, in. Uh, called very simply the white horse um with a sign uh, to match i point and at he just gestures white. towards it and says we were all staying in this this inn here okay let's go check my thing my, i think my headphone popped out did you say what did you say i said okay let's go oh. back <laughs> there you go now i can hear um, you step inside, and inside it's, uh, you know, the, the, the faux marble exterior gave it kind of a, a cold exterior appearance, but inside it's, it's very warm. It's, uh, wood paneled flooring, carpeting, there's a roaring fireplace, there's like a thousand banners of the silver flame, and a little shrine in the corner for those who, uh, come to do a little bit of worship in the morning, maybe, when they have their brekkie. We do um, worship. <clears throat> their brekkie. Uh, Breck. Their brekkie. Um, there is a very small stage that looks like it would be used for some kind of musical performance um, off in the back right corner. Off to the left from the entrance, there is a, um, a little bar. Um, that seems to double as, like, the, the encounter. Um, and a staircase at the back left of the room that curves upwards, uh, to, uh, to an upper floor, presumably where the, where the rooms are. Uh, there's a door off to the kitchens. Um, and there's... Traffic is quiet here, um, which 19 mentions is one of the reasons they, they picked it. Uh, that it was it was relatively lightly, you know, uh, visited and occupied. It's probably like in a room that looks like it could comfortably seat maybe forty. There's probably like eight guys, um, most of whom are looking pretty bleary-eyed and tired. Um, some of them look like they may have just gotten off of work or something and are just. Uh, tucking into something for the night. Uh, there's a couple of guys who look like they got started drinking early and are, are slurping heartily. Um, sure, Lord. And it's, um, there's one guy who's dressed in just filthy rags and has these heavily calloused feet, probably some kind of pilgrim making a, some voyage to the Silver Flame. You've seen, pe- seen a couple of dudes like that on the road. 
He's got no shoes? No shoes. Oh my god. And they're um, still serving him? The signs were alive. Um, what? No shirt, no <laughs> shoes, no shirts. Well, the, uh, he had his shirt. He does have his, he does, yeah, he's got a, like a, like a, like a monk's frock. Um, he's got a monkey's frock. Like rope belt and everything. Um, over at the bar, great. uh, there is a, uh, a human man with, like, very, very long silver hair and a ponytail and this, uh, tightly, neatly trimmed silver beard, uh, who is just, he's not not even doing the classic wipe down. He's just sitting there and he's just reading a book at the bar. Nobody's coming up to it right now, so he's just chilling. That's the right thing. And that's uh, that's what you see in here. Read a book in a nice old tavern. You know, this is like Starbucks. What's the Wi-Fi password? Uh, the, we get Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi password, password. is uh, Praise Tira. It doesn't work. The A is a four. Both A's. And the I's are ones. Is the T capital? The T is the only capital letter. Is there a space? No. Is it an underscore? At the end. Yeah, my battery died. I was trying to get into the Wi-Fi for so long. That's how it is sometimes. That's what you see in the White Horse. Okay, I, uh, we, I go up to the man with the book who looks like he owns, who looks like he's in charge. Uh, you look over and he goes, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> puts the book away. Um. <clears throat> Buonasera. Welcome to uh, the okay. White Horse. Or are you looking uh, for a room for the evening? Uh, yes, I'm looking for people inside of a room. I see you come to uh, visit somebody. Who, uh, who might uh, we be talking about? Yes, I'm looking for a Oh, fel- he points past you. You, uh, I, you were staying here not uh, too long ago, huh? And points to 19. And 19 goes, uh, yes, yes. Recently. <laughs> Hasn't been that long. Yes, yes. A few, a uh, few days ago, you, I see you are back. You left in some hurry, as I recall, so... I'm pleased to see you uh, return to our establishment. Uh, what about the people he was with? Where did they? Hmm. You know, I am uh, not uh, entirely sure. I, I'm sure they must have left. Uh, they must have left uh, very early in the morning. I only saw you and uh, your... Uh, uh, traveling companion, uh, leave. And so they left at a different time? Uh, perhaps. I, I'm not sure. I did not uh, witness it personally. Uh, people, you know, I don't get up at the crack of dawn. I get up uh, when the rooster. Before it. A little. Uh, well, Sometimes I'm busy in the kitchen and I miss it. Uh, somebody just has to sign out, you know, and check out and pay. And uh, that is what uh, uh, you did, sir. And uh, and your, uh, your uh, uh, very striking uh, friend. Does a striking friend have red hair? Yes, a uh, <coughs> woman, uh, statuesque. Uh, uh, very long uh, red hair and uh, glowing eyes. 
I think she was. Okay. Uh, hmm, how do you say them? Uh, one of those. Um, not elves, but uh, the other ones from the other continent. I cannot recall the name. Psychic. Sure, yes, one of those. I think the eyes were green or something. I forget. Could she, could she um. walk through walls? No! Disappear and fly. She was much more unique than the other guys. But it was then that she knew what she had to do. She had to stop all the ghosts that were coming through. She's here to fight for me and you. Gonna catch them all. She's Danny Phantom. Oh, come on. Gonna catch them okay. all. She's Danny Phantom. Gonna catch them all. She's Danny Phantom. So, they left, like, within a few hours, probably. Yes, it was, like, the same day. Presumably, yeah. Um, well, later, they didn't, like, stay another day. whole two days or something. Yeah, yeah he... Because uh, 19 checked out that night, or that that morning, the morning after. He checked out on, on a time, and they did it late at night on the same day. Yeah, they right? disappeared while the innkeeper was asleep. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, his, uh, your, your friend had only just arrived, uh, the... Um half-orc gentleman only had been here for a few hours when uh, uh, you know you uh your compatriot uh, showed up and then soon after you checked out i thought it was uh, peculiar but uh, perhaps you know going to uh, see a time sensitive event uh, it happens So it only, like, just got here, and then again. Yeah, that's really bad. He wasn't supposed to leave. Is there anything else you can tell me because a crime has been committed? A crime? Mummy, what happened? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. These what? people are now officially missing. Missing? Dear me, I had no idea. I, f I feel so, uh, oh, I feel as though I have failed in my, my oath of hospitality. Uh, hmm. Make a, just give me a persuasion roll. I know you're not, like, specifically persuading him of anything, but just roll it. Wait, why am I looking at this? It's on my screen. Uh, it is. Why is this thing so bad tonight? Say that again. There we go. 29. 29. Let me just double check something over here. Is this the thing that I... Nope. Let me double check something over here. Is this the thing that I want? Fuck. Oh, is this it? Damn it. Is it this one? <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Don't worry about it. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, did I put that in like three different? This is back. Be it. This is just a meme. 
Got it. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry, what'd you get? 29. That's holy shit. <laughs> um. Have plus 10. My god. Um. Well, listen, um, uh, business, uh, gestures to the room. You can probably see us being uh, slow, so, uh, nobody has booked uh, your uh, room since you left, so if uh, you would like, I can uh, take you up to it uh, to have a poke about. I don't know if there is anything there, but I uh, okay. would be here. Okay. Thank you. No, no problem. <laughs> How many days has it been? Days. Oh, they would smell something by now. That's a good sign. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, he goes upstairs. Um. And, uh, opens the door. Uh, on this, uh, room at the far, far back of the hallway. Opens it up. This is our uh, larger suite because there were um, a lot of people. Um, he opens it up. And you can see it's a little room uh, with four beds. Um, two on either wall. Um, <coughs> not not like a ton of floor space, but big enough to accommodate the four, four beds. Um, there's uh, a couple of chests of drawers uh, set against the walls. Um, and a little, um, like, vanity, uh, against the back wall with a mirror. Um, and then two wardrobes on the same wall as the door. And that's mostly it. Uh, sheets, uh, I mean, the beds look made and clean. There's no... You don't immediately see anything awry about it. It just looks like a like an unoccupied hotel room, essentially. Everything's baked. There's not a. It's not a big, stinking, fly buzzing dead body. Like, just stop posting a picture of that fucking hot dog. That was what? Somebody just what? did to me. I guess. Fucking posted it again. It's the same picture. Yeah, no, it you isn't. You can't just pass the plus. It wait, wait. Well, it's, it's not. It's, they just replaced the game. It's not just a hot dog. Yeah, it's a beefaroni cheese dog. I don't. I don't care for the logistics of what it is or is not. What is 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 unholy. I, I do hate it. It's there's so little macaroni, but they had to make macaroni for this. So where's the rest of the macaroni? <laughs> In the fridge. Why? And so the that they sauce. can make another one tomorrow. Oh. They have the ingredients now. I just did that say they also put shredded cheese on yeah, it. Yeah, the, the shredded cheese yeah, the... is really what makes it. <laughs> um, anyways, that's no, all hotel room. And he says, as you uh, can see, we uh, after you moved out, we, uh, you know, uh, cleaned up and... Uh, put things back in their place. Uh, there was nothing I recall being particularly awry about it, just the regular, you know, mess of people living in a room for a while, but uh, it could be there is something in here we uh, did not see. Okay, Peppy, inspect everything. I investigate. Uh, I will also investigate, because I have a plus 11. Okay, Dirk, yeah, investigate. Dirk. Peppy. But what will we dirk, get? Dirk, 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 dirk. I was just making sure I wasn't lying. Because I forgot. But I had a feeling. Where the fuck is my D20? There it is. Wow, I keep rolling an 8, so that's a 19. Hey, both of you got 19. Hey, 19. Go. Oh, I guess I'm in the room. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Um. Dude, I'm just staring at her. <laughs> 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 um. 
All right. Uh, All right, 19s, 19s. Uh, you guys uh, sweep that way, uh, one way and the other way. Um, scouring for clues. Clues. Uh, Dirk. You're scanning the left side of the room. And on the left side of the room, you know what you find? Uh, stuff that left-handed people would leave. Uh, yeah, you find all their sinister items. Ooh, are you saying that because left people, left-handed people are, uh... No, I'm saying that because evil? that's what sinister means. Ooh. Oh! Technically. Did I know that? <laughs> I don't think I did. Sin <laughs> is ter. In reference to left-handedness. Sin is ter. I don't know if you're going to be able to break it down like that, but... <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. What is charity? I believe but right hand is, is Dexter. Dex. What? That may not be correct. Her. Something like that. It. Ooh. Dexterity? No, oh, that must be where that comes from. Um, anyways. Huge manatee. Huge manatee. Uh, that's what you find. Um, no. On the left side of the room. You find something tucked uh, way, way back, uh, sort of underneath one of the beds. Something that looks like it maybe fell and like rolled and just got stuffed back there and just wasn't noticed. Um, yeah, Paul over there, and you pull it out. Um, oh my leg! Oh my whole ass leg! Um, and you. <clears throat> uh, can see that it is um, a little metal statuette. Um, looks like a, it, it. It looks unfinished. Um, make a. I don't even know what I would have you roll for this. Give me a perception. Just give me a perception check, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Um, that's a 28. Holy shit. Um, uh, you can see it's made out of that... Um, for some reason, the name of it is escaping me right now, but the, the drone metal. Um, mm. And it's, like, half-made... It's unfinished, but it looks a bit like it's starting to be Vothnak. Oh my god, a Voodoo doll. Something steel. Blue steel Vothnak. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know why I can't remember what it is right now. Oh my god. She was gonna propose. Oh my... Oh, <laughs> that's oh, that's oh god. <laughs> Biesch. They're gonna make like it's a metal Biesch. zombie thing of. of oh, how did you forget that? something like that? It's so meaningful. <laughs> it's been a long time since it's come up. But yeah, there's like a little, like unfinished Biesk Vafnak. Talked over. Uh, well, it's good that Vafnak's dead right now. That would really upset him. Yeah. yeah. Good thing he's dead. Yeah. It's We're saving him from it. that. What does Gravish think about it? I knew it. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Damn. He goes, no! Fuck! No! No! <laughs> yeah. Grove is like... No! This ain't Ripper. Is that why you were pausing to look for an Australian thing to say? No, I was spacing out earlier. I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, there's an unfinished uh, figurine of Vothnak hidden in the room. Made of goblin steel. 
Yes. From Zoe. Okay. She's missing, and that's what's left. I really appreciate that, and it's sad. Grove picks up that everyone thinks it's sad and silently agrees. <laughs> Reads the room. Frowning, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we don't like she was going, going to propose. Not to say how to do the. That's how you do it in Drome. You give him a little, it's you give him a statue of himself. To go to prom. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <her> prom. <laughs> it's like a little, it, the statue yourself can capture curses and bad eyes, uh, evil eyes sent at you. Yeah. It's like the yeah. evil eye. Yeah. Yeah, like the evil eye. Yeah. And if somebody tries to send a hell demon or something, it'll think the statuette is you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not literally, but you know it helps with the Yeah, and that's one. once once you get married you'd start to have a lot of haters. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Um you guys uh um Peppy circling around the other side of the room uh sees something uh more dramatic that the cleaning staff law missed somehow. A fucking finger. Uh, it's a fucking finger. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fingers! Um, no, you see, like, tucked into a back corner, sort of, like, wedged, uh... Not, like, wedged like it was trying to be hidden, but wedged like it was, like, tossed there, basically. Um, off to the side of the dresser, um, is a, like a... Like a traveling satchel of a kind. Mm-hmm. Um, and you sort of pull it out, um, and look at it, and it's, uh, it's Zan's traveling bag. And it's oh, full shit. of unfinished statuettes of Bachmet. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> What's inside, huh? He was making them. He was gonna propose. Uh. <laughs> you open it up, and it's like, there's like a little book in there, there's some, like, personal, like, you know, like, essentially, like, travel shit, like, toiletry-type stuff. Um, uh, just, like, a His couple release. personal effects. Um, it's just, like, the stuff that he was carrying. Like, there's nothing massively remarkable. I mean, I think, I think the only thing that would be, like, m most remarkable would be, like, the weird little, like, um... Uh, a, a Centira crystal thing. That, uh... But he packed that and throw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> a what crystal? Why the fuck did he pack that? You just break a window with it. How crushed I gave to it. The oh, Readrin... I... The Readrin... Um... Diplomat. Gave that to him. She's hot. <laughs> yeah. <Says> Jane angrily. <laughs> oh no, she's hot. Dirt pulls on exactly his what I said. collar. <laughs> that's why. That's why Jane didn't invite her to go like talk to fucking Lovineth. It wasn't because she was like, like shaken up by uh, Tar's uh, assertions. It was because she was like, hang on a second. This bitch is hot, and she was talking to my boy. I gotta get the fuck away from this bitch. We should kill her. Why did he pack that? <laughs> it's in there. Um, that's the only thing, like, un like you know, particularly fancy he was carrying around. The rest of it is just like you know his his generic stuff. I mean, for sure, 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 for sure. I mean, like. Oh my god, this is so bad. His his suitcase is here. He, that means that he didn't leave of his own volition. And also, why the fuck is this in here? Oh my god. I think that he kept that to remind himself of what a terrible life he would leave. He would lead without you because he'd be stuck with someone like her. That's, that's why I keep saying... Some so, fancy uh, tap dancing you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I keep 
That's why I keep uh, fancy mementos given to me by other women. It's, uh, you know, to remind me, glad I'm not with them. Yeah, to remind me that I'm with you and not with them, and I would be unhappy so, if I were somewhere, with them. Somewhere, like, turning the wheel yeah. of a ship, Tar's like, I feel like some of the heat just got lifted off my back all of a sudden. I feel like it's directed elsewhere. What's going on? <laughs> Not as hated right now. What's up? Did I do something right? No, I couldn't have been. Um, well, at least he possible. understands that. <laughs> um, and then something more startling happens. Oh. At this point. Oh God damn it! Good thing I have this Tommy gun. There's a bomb in the lasagna. Uh, <laughs> Peppy, as you're sort of knelt down, like looking at this uh, this bag that you've pulled out um, uh, by the wall, there's like a little bit of a crack in the wall. Just how, building must have settled weird. There's it's it's like wood paneling, so there's just like a little bit of a split. Oh my god, he's tripping! And something lunges ah! out of the wall. Through the crack. It's, it's the bush a boy. large centipede. Oh, thank goodness. Melvin! Nope. <laughs> no, Melvin! Whatever. Nope. I, I go, <laughs> Melvin! As I'm getting sucked into the crack. Nope, that's not the, it's not his name. <laughs> it's not his name, I don't remember his name. It's Melvin's friend. <laughs> Earl. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> Earl the centipede leaps Earl. out of the crack and just lands directly on your face. Aww. <laughs> Aww. He love he's trying to get inside. And then of just the starts to like rotate, crawl around your head. <laughs> Aw, like stigmata. It's adorable. Sometimes he gets a bit close to your ear and you think, ah, oh, and then no. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Presses its mandibles to your ear and goes <laughs> Stop. I try and swat him away. ASMR. Uh, it slaps to the ground and scuttles uh, over, and it just crawls up Jane's leg. This is where you belong. It just, it just, it doesn't go any further. It just stops on the thigh. And it's just there. Yeah. <laughs> he knows a friend when he sees one. From he down was below on my here. body. He was on my body for days. He, yeah. As I recall. <laughs> Distantly from down, uh, from the vast gulf of space between your head and your thigh, you hear. I say. <laughs> he was gonna try to run up to your ear, but like, it's a long way. You yeah, it gets it. tired. He's welcome to go up, though. But that is. Uh, I well, if that, he can. That is what you discover in the room. I can ask him what he saw tomorrow. Why not today? I don't have the spell prepared. It's really late at night. Quick, go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay, well. Oh. Does, does entering this room and all that remind 19 of anything, or is it all just... 19 is just sort of looking around, and it's like, this is where we were staying. But... No, still nothing after the moment I drew my sword. I... I was hoping that this would maybe jog a memory in me, but... You were just on, like, like four minutes ago. It's cold. It's you not that cold. The it's it's cold. It's not that cold. It's 30 degrees it's out. It's not that cold. Okay, excuse That's you? That's below freezing, you dumb twat. That's not that bad, 30? That's cold. That's yeah, not pretty that bad. cold. That's cold. That's not I'm that bad. Cold. I'm, listen, it's, that it's, bad, like, it's, it's like 62 in here. 30 degrees and no wind chill is not that cold. No, I agree with you, but when there's, the you know, the it's a It doesn't heater. make me want to go to sleep, though. I mean, it's not like, 30 it's not degrees like in the sleeping. fucking structure. It's 30 degrees outside. Yeah, but it might get 30 degrees in here if the heat doesn't turn on. We got insulation. All right, whatever. Um, 
No, I, uh, I still don't recall anything, unfortunately. Sí. I... Just sort of... Looks around forlornly. There is only the signs of effects they left behind, no sign of them. But that these effects were left seems dire. It sounds as though I left of my own accord. I fear they may not have had such an experience. Okay, we're gonna chase them right after we go to sleep. Yeah. We'll, we'll ask Earl what happened in the morning, and then we'll go after them. He's trying to tell we're us right now, but we can't understand yet. Is Chicken with them? Grunko! He was here the whole time with us. No, oh, it was whole, yeah. He was, I remember that now. How, how was Chicken feeling about Bob next though? He was feeling so grunko. About Vothnak's death? Yeah. Uh, he said, Rah! Scurvy! He has a hard time expressing himself, but he's, uh, <laughs> sad. Yeah, that, you know he's sad because he didn't say peppy ass scurvy, he just said scurvy. Yeah, yeah that's, he's that's expressing yeah, the, he's pain feeling... he, the pain he feels. He feels as though he has scurvy. He feels yeah. scurvy about it. Which is like saying, like, ugh, such, such ugly. Giving me the ick. Right. Yeah. I fall over unconscious. Yay. <laughs> well, uh, well we pay you want to pay for this room then? Somebody pay. <laughs> I pay. Wait, I don't have any money. It's just, the, it's a gold for the suite. I give them a gold. What gold kind piece. of sweets? This is the sweet. You're in it. Oh, I, I thought you meant candy. I, I no. give him a gold. Oh, thank you. Very kindly. Uh, well, I suppose I leave this key with you and uh, you are free to uh, uh, enjoy the accommodations. Okay, goodbye. I must get okay. back to the bar. I hope we aren't kidnapped, okay? I also hope that... <laughs> Shut the door. I inside him. Is he really hoping that? <laughs> Let's see. Alright, here we go. That's one. Natural 20. Plus four. Does he hope we He hopes we all get some sick. I'm gonna have to type I'm gonna have to type it this to you. You can get some sick. <laughs> wait, yes, don't. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, yes, he's worried. He's worried that, okay, okay. I thought you meant he isn't. No. Yes, he <laughs> isn't. Alright. Yes, me am. If your query is, is he really worried, and I say yes, how do you I then don't interpret what that? I don't remember what was. <laughs> you too. Okay. Expect me to remember my own words? Come on. Um. All right. You all lay down to slumbar. Cucumber. Shumbar. Rest in peace. He's peacefully rest. I'm yeah, bringing back shumbar. Josh. Um. And you sleep through the night without any interruptions. Very nice. Yay. Until the 22nd of Therendor, the day that yeah. it now is. I wake up. Am I kidnapped? Um... You're in an unfamiliar room. You've never slept here before. I've never even slept here before. 
There's Pappy. Sense. He's evil. I'm not evil. Kill him quickly. Oh, he's lying. No, no, no. That's not what we do with evil. Hmm. We can fix it. Alright. Alright, grab bitch. Uh, do it. Get Earl on the phone. Yes. Oh, talk Let to this bug. I pick up the bug. Let me prepare my spells. Hmm. Hurry up, he's flying away. I I start like I start like swing like doing this around the room. Whoa, where's he going? Hmm. We. Okay. All Girl, right. You're flying. Okay. We. I take uh, ten minutes to perform the speak with animals ritual. Okay, I continue doing that for 10 right. minutes. You, uh, oh, need to prepare them. kneel down and press your uh, fingers together and go, hey yo what a him a for 10 minutes. hey yo what's hey yo what's only, <laughs> only wizards can ritual cast things they don't have prepared. Oh, really? Yeah. And I, and then I cast it, and now I speak to Earl, I say, hi yo. Uh, Earl. <laughs> whips uh over to look at you realizing you speak buggo uh leaps from jane onto you and just <laughs> skitters up the side of you this is and great. then says uh in your ear you hear what letter can hurt you if you get too close to it um god you b okay, it's got what b <laughs> Oh. It was B. <laughs> That's pretty humor, is it? Can I tell that to them? Yes. Okay. But first... Why I was the ant so confused? I don't know. Because all of his uncles were ants. Oh. Uh, Shit. Another one for the joke book. What is on the ground and also a hundred feet in the air? The... Yeah. Me on my back. Whoa. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, most people uh, don't understand my jokes because uh, they don't speak insect. Yeah, it's just Zay. Like, Z like Zay does. So I have to get it out of my system. It's been fun crawling all over you guys. I've enjoyed it greatly. I also enjoyed the flavor of Melvin's brain. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. I turn to the party. Where's Melvin's corpse? Is he doing a funny little dance? Where, no, where no, he, he turns him? to us and he asks, where is Melvin's corpse? <laughs> Out Let's of nowhere. With, uh, or, with Zan he, and Zoe. he disappeared with the guys. We don't... What do you mean, corpse? Oh, uh, Earl said he enjoyed the taste of his brains. I oh, yes, he, he, was he did. He was murdered. He did. No, he's unfortunately alive. Uh, <laughs> brain damage. Yeah, fucking God, I really hope he isn't. Hey, wait a second. When did the fly fly? I don't know. When the spider spider. That's all so good. <laughs> okay. I have a question for you now. Yes. It's not a joke. Alright. Did you see what happened here? With all the people who used to be here not being here anymore? Oh, you mean when the woman with the red hair came in and mind-controlled 19? Ah. Uh, yeah, I remember. So that oh, happened. And yeah, then what did weird. they do? Did they kidnap everyone else? Well, what is the intelligence of this millipede? Like 15? It's a centipede, thank you. Yes, please. Let's get it right. <laughs> well, um, first, what I want to... Um, what I want to clear up is... Um, Shut up. Shut up. Don't do what's, it. What's worse than a worm in your apple? Two worms. Half a worm in your apple. 
the morning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you just make a fantasy holocaust joke? <laughs> you fucker. It's 1.41 a.m. You piece of shit. <laughs> you made a fantasy 9-11 joke. <laughs> I think they're gonna like that one a lot. I can tell that they're a fan of. But the morning was a national tragedy. <laughs> Fucking don't don't, don't, don't try and really. don't try and uh, um, Norm McDonald your way out of this one. Uh, you did. Don't Listen, laugh. I walked through the streets you, of Eston uh, through blood uh, and bone this, uh, trying to Adolf find my Hitler brother. Guy. Yeah, he was the he prime was minister of Carnath. Germany. You hear about this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Man, the more I read about this Hitler guy, I, I'm not liking it. He's doing some bad things. I'm reading about this mole. Odd-looking duck. But his eyes... Odd-looking <laughs> duck? Look at that mustache. something hypnotic about his eyes. They're almost completely black. <laughs> All right, sorry. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> what were you saying? Can you describe in as much detail as you could muster exactly what happened? Oh yes, of course. I remember it in great detail. I remember <clears throat> that um, 19 had just arrived. Cole and Zoe were here. And Melvin. I was on Melvin, eating his brains. Damn it. He was um, begging me to stop, uh, but I didn't. Um... <laughs> well, I think he was. He had lost the ability to say coherent words. I'm just kidding. I'm not eating his brains anymore. I had my fill. I quit. Cold turkey. You know, sometimes you know you have a problem and you have to cut yourself off. And this was one of those times. Uh, okay, bud. It's enough. It's a joke. Come on. Wasn't, Move forward the story. It wasn't a joke. Oh, I know. I know. You you can't understand me. <laughs> I'm gonna say more fucking bug jokes if you talk some shit. Uh, for some reason, it strikes me as relevant to someone to say that Earl has told me that sometimes you might form dangerous, unhealthy habits, and it's very important. Very, very important that you stop those dangerous, unhealthy habits. <laughs> For example, eating brains. Yes. Anyways, enough about the brains. Um, 19 was speaking with Cole about something. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking of jokes. When all of a sudden the door burst open and in came a uh, woman in this sort of armor-plated <clears throat> robes with very long red hair and glowing green eyes. You can walk through walls? Nope. Shut up, he already did it. Okay. <laughs> Let's update the count again. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Speed run. Uh, Lost my train of thought. Uh, along Jeez, with uh, another figure that was shifting their appearance several times uh, to random faces. Not sure why, perhaps to disorient or unsettle. Um, the uh, 19 <clears throat> drew his blade, but the woman spoke to him and he uh, almost immediately uh, started attacking the others in the room. Um, he knocked out Zoe and Cole, and he kicked Melvin against the wall, and Melvin fell down. I was launched into the wall because I was sitting on Melvin, and I crawled inside for safety. I expected that they wouldn't care about a centipede, because they don't realize that I'm cool. You're a comedy genius. I don't realize my untapped potential. 
What do you call two ants that run away to get married? Antelopes. Anyways. Fuck off. <laughs> then, the woman gathered the bodies together and uh, traced some shape in the air and pushed them in and they were gone. I'm not really sure how that works. I don't really know how magic works. A centipede. Uh, and then the figure that was shifting stopped shifting uh, and went back to its uh, regular face, um, which was Zan. And then they left with 19 in tow. Hmm. I relay this story in exactly Earl's words. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, but the, joke but the guy at the yeah. desk said the 19 left alone. No, you went with red hair lady. Oh, right. But now it's Zan. Bro. Zan took some sort of a small item from the lady. I think it was whatever she traced to make that hole open up. And then they left the room. I don't know what happened after that because I stayed in the wall. Because I'm a centipede. They made it four? I don't know. Yes. I don't know how magic works. So they portaled in, jumped them, then they portaled out. No, they walked. Well, they came in through the door. But they walked out, then they walked out. And then they walked out. Okay, hold on, Grove. Ask him when Zan left the room last. I ask this. Hmm. Maybe a few hours before. You know what he was doing? No, I'm a centipede. I don't follow him around. He didn't like it when I crawled on him. He got very upset. He's not a keeper. Nineteen, do you know why Zan left? I mean, we didn't all just stay in the room all the time. We went out to buy <coughs> things or look at things in the city or Okay. There wasn't I mean, we weren't under putting ourselves under house arrest. Sure. Well, shit. I didn't really understand what was going on. Uh, because I'm a centipede. But it didn't look good. And it wasn't very funny. Oh. I forgot to mention. Uh, the woman took Melvin. Melvin. Just under our arm. No. Thought I'd mention Not that. Melvin. Weird. Not I have weird. a question yes. for all of you. Okay. What is Melvin? Melvin is a walking, talking bush. Oh. Okay. We had one of those on the pirate ship. He was the mascot and everyone hated him. Oh. But in a funny way. No. Oh, well, that's important. He's dead now. Well, ours is... <coughs> and maybe. Dead. Melvin's maybe he dead. is. Ours isn't, probably. Actually, now that I think about it, mine probably isn't dead either. Those sorts of characters aren't allowed to die. So you say. <sighs> okay, who has a spell where they can locate a bush? I have locate object. 
Yeah, but then, like know. any bush? That, you know, Melvin bush. <coughs> sure Melvin has sticks on feet. him and shit. Any of his leaves what here? What kind of bush was he? A bushwhacker. I don't know. A good one. We identified him as one, but we forgot. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I think he was supposed to be like some flower. Mm -hmm. No, I think we changed our mind and made him something else. He Originally, is... he was going to be an evergreen or something, but then. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Into flowers or both? He's just I don't a know. Bush, you know. He's just a bush. Um. I don't know actually how you'd locate object. You've never seen him. Yeah. Um, also, so, it's not an object. That you're right. I shouldn't objectify him. <laughs> um. Anybody else have a thing? I don't know how we're supposed to use a Melvin thing to our advantage. I don't think we can. We um, could just uh, walk around and see hmm. if anyone saw that I have a as far as I know she might have taken him all the way back to where we were mm. where we were like like tracing that might not be very helpful because <laughs> it seems that she might have just taken him straight out of the city which is where I mean anyway let's go to the guys who guard the city gate and ask if they saw some of the plans yeah, see, see if they saw a lady with a bush. And then if they say no, I they say, say okay. Last night I sure did. <laughs> was that? Yeah, it was it a lady with red hair that was holding a, a talking with well, I bush. saw a lady with red hair and a bush for sure. They all talk like that. Hey, yeah. If you talk about Lady Bush. They all sound like deflating balloons. Watch on that The shard population is gonna decrease once all these balloons fucking deflate. <laughs> hey, don't do that! Every time you talk to them, they're losing their valuable lifespan. There he goes, floating away in the wind. An empty shell of plastic. Rubber, even. <laughs> okay, That's one of the answers go. we get. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ask, ask guardsmen around the outside of this tavern. In, yeah, see if they saw her exit the there. city. You want to make a canvassing of guardsmen? Yeah. Well, it is, uh... Oh, no, it's... You guys left. Um, okay. Uh... We uh, talked to the guy with the feet. We... What? <laughs> <laughs> I the guy with the feet. As opposed to a balloon person. I talked the, to the guy who doesn't have shoes. Oh. Is he oh, there the, still? Uh, yeah, he's still there. Program. Yeah, I talked to the guy with the feet. Uh, he looks oh, at you and he says, Hello there. Hi, where are you going? Uh, me, I am going to Flame Keep to pray before the Silver Flame itself. That's amazing. Uh, where are you from? Oh, where am I from? I am from uh, Sean, actually. Wow, what? Uh, uh, when did you leave? Oh, uh, some weeks ago. Some weeks ago? Yeah. Wow! I've stopped over for a few days here because it seems a, a quaint place and I've grown quite wary. Um, did you start out with shoes on? Yeah, no, of course not. What do you mean, of course not? Well, it is a, a, a pilgrimage, a walk, a, a, a sort of thing that you do with no shoes, I guess. What? <laughs> Trials and tribulations. <laughs> Trials and tribulations, as he says. One must be prepared to suffer for their faith. Is that from your book? Your holy no, that's is my that own a personal quote? philosophy. 
Oh, okay. Can you read me a quote from your book that's in there? I have not written a book. What do you mean? No, no, read! Like your holy book, right? No. That's full of parables and maybe? Yes, I could, I could read you a quote from my book. Okay. Like, what's, what's one that you really try to live by? Or what, what's, the, what's the phrase that you... What's the passage that you read today and said, that's my passage of the day? My passage of the day? Hmm, well... Let me think. I think a good passage... This is one I particularly like. That every mortal soul can find the light. It is better to inspire and guide others to virtuous behavior. Force is a last resort. I think it is good to live one's life by such measures. Wow, that's great. Who said that? Was that Tira? Yes. Is the whole book about Tira or are there other characters? No, Tira is a central figure and she is the one who sparked the silver flame itself and sealed the great beast Belshalor many, many thousands of years ago. But there are other figures from that time period, her traveling companions and, and, um, and others who followed in her footsteps after she sealed herself away. They write the book? The book was not written by her, no, it was written by uh, one of the companions who uh, survived uh, some time after. Wow, just one? Yes. Nice. Anyway, uh, that's so cool that you came all the way here without shoes. You might want to see a doctor. No, I'm quite all right. Oh. You sure did answer that quickly. I've been making okay. such pilgrimages for many years. My feet are so calloused I cannot feel them any longer. Okay, how many pilgrimages have you made and to where? Oh, largely to just religious sites associated with the Silver Flame. Flamekeep, this will be my fifth time making the journey to Flamekeep. Do you, do you just travel to other places and then try to make your way back here? I spend much of my time in quiet religious contemplation at my monastery. Where's that? Here? In Sharn. Oh! You have a Sharn monastery. Yes, I built it in the, in the cliffs nearby. Yeah! Not an official one? It's like a cave? Are you recognized Basically. by the Basically, okay. Wow, well, you sound like uh, you might be a prophet. Oh, I don't know about that. I merely uh, wish to subsume myself to the will of the Silver Flame. Why? Because that is what faith is. I love that about you. That's so great. I'm very proud of you. What's your name? I'm sorry. Oh. I've given it up. No. <laughs> that was just Nick my, because he sorry. didn't name this guy. My, um, my name's Jane. My name's Jane. My name's Jane. My... What? <laughs> sorry, the first name that jumped in my head was really stupid. <laughs> I did not say it. Let's hear it. I got Let's real hear close. it real quick. It was Wario. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nice no, to meet you, Wario. No, 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 no. It's not Wario. It's obvious his name's not Wario, idiot. It's fucking Mario. No, it's <laughs> That's why I didn't say it. Uh, you know what? He's, my name is my name is Warren. Hmm? Warren. Warren. W a r r e n. Yes. Nice to meet you, Warren. The pleasure. So, how often do you make this pilgrimage and then go back home? Hmm. I try to make the pilgrimage every... Hmm, at least once a year. Wow, that's like the majority of the year or whatever. Like, okay, sorry. It, um, sorry. No, it's a number of weeks, just one direction. Yes. 
No, okay. I don't know. It's a good chunk. Of... Well, it gives you something to do, I guess. Yes, I believe that living my life in service to the Silver Flame in such a manner has allowed me to reach great spiritual transcendence. I feel very much at one with the universe. Wow, what does that feel like? It feels pretty good. Can I quote you on that? <laughs> you may. <laughs> okay. You should write a book. Whoa. <laughs> Perhaps someday when I am too old to make these journeys any longer. Yeah, maybe. Um, do you think that, um... <clears throat> So you've been in the cliffs above Sharn, like what, your whole life or uh, for like most, what made you want to start doing that? Well, I, as a young man, I was exposed to the uh, teachings of the Silver Flame and I found that they resonated deeply with my soul. And when I was uh, old enough to leave my parents, uh, I moved into the caves to begin a, a life of quiet worship. Oh, that's wonderful. Did your parents come visit you? Or did you go visit them? Or were you no, just they like, they disapproved greatly. Oh, wow. What did they want from you? What did they think about you should do? Uh, they wanted me to uh, take up the family cobbling business, but I did not want to do that. I love cobbler. I know that's not what your job is. It's my favorite Adam Sandler movie. But, so you, oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> you has caught on to the many layers of my of my delightful comedy piece. <laughs> Peel the I onion. I understand now. Is Borio a cobbler or something? He he ain't got he just got his feet. He ain't got no shoes. Mm. His parents never gave him his shoes. Yes. I don't need him shoes. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's still bound by his cobbler's oath. He was forced to swear that he could never buy shoes but only make them. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am. Wow. That's how it all ended up. Well, I mean, it's it's really beautiful thing you got going here with your monastery. Is is it a, is it a monastery or is it just your 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 place up there? I call it a monastery, but if I'm being honest, it's it it's pretty much just a cave. It's your little <laughs> place. I have tried to recruit other acolytes, but they uh, often grow tired of the uh, rigors of pilgrimage. The ascetic lifestyle. Yes, living with. So very little in the way of material goods is disheartening to those still attached to worldly possessions. So is that like a tenet of the faith? No, it's just something I decided to do. That's Are we gonna perfect. The active kidnappings. Uh, yeah, no, I'm on it. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just so fascinating. <laughs> no, I'm sure this guy's connected. I don't. <laughs> Glint is standing there, like, staring into the back of Jane's head, like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk outside and ask a guard. If they I guess he would be staring into, like, the small of her back, based on the height difference. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. I go outside to a guard, and I say, did you see a red-haired woman with a shrub under her arm? Yes, oh, yeah, who could forget? That's a fucking weird thing to see. Which way did Big they tall go? redhead, carrying a bush, fucking light shooting out of her face. Yes, also glowing green eyes. Maybe yeah, that's what I'm talking them. about. Where, which way did they go? Did Fuck they say? Fuck, I know. I just remember seeing it. It was weird. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll correlate with other guards. All right, peace. Guard. Praise be under the silver flame. Go, Tim. When did you start oh. being a guard? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, it was after my second divorce. Um. That sucks. I'm sorry. 
Oh, it's all right. I deserved it both times. Oh, well, uh, you got your just desserts. I got my just divorce. <laughs> just a divorce. <laughs> um, make a persuasion check to canvas guards. Glint. I know you're really good at that. Actually, yeah, you're a paladin. You probably are. I'm okay. I'm not proficient in it because why would I be? Dirty. Yeah. You do hear a bunch of other guards who saw such a figure. She was distinctive. It's uh, it's not often that you see um, a tall woman with long red hair, some sort of like fucking battle robe carrying a bush. It's just something that you note. It's something you file away in the old in the old filing cabinet up here. Like that's a weird one. Um as for where she might have gone <laughs> Uh I mean they're pretty sure she went out the south gate. Damn. That's about it. Nobody like nobody followed her. She wasn't doing nothing to anybody. Okay, well. Now's my time to shine. Beat guy. Yes. Sorry, Warren. That's right. It's alright, I knew what you meant. Wait a minute. You ain't wearing no shoes. That's right. But you're wearing... Your heart on your sleeve. Good one. Sure. Thanks. Hey, sorry, Warren. Yes. Can I call you Warren? No. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I have an accent. Um. <clears throat> Must be new. It's a new one. Um. Perfect. Hey, Warren, how long have you been here? Have you been here since since some days ago? Well, I've been here about uh, close to a week now. Wow. Yes. I took a nasty spill on my way up the northern road and recuperated some time here. Oh my god. Yes. Where's, where'd you hurt? I fell down near the Thornwood. Sheesh. Fell into a pit. Goodness gracious. What yes. was that doing there? I believe it was two trap animals. Aw oh, man. They shouldn't do that. I was looking for berries to eat. Because I did not bring any food with me, as I never do. I always forage for my food. Uh, however, uh -huh. I stumbled into a hunter's trap and fell some distance. Jeez. How'd you get out? You just I, climbed? I waited until the hunter came back. Did he? Oh my gosh, he must have been so embarrassed. Well, it was actually quite comfortable down there. Oh, no, I meant the hunter was probably super embarrassed. Oh, no, he just seemed very angry. What a jerk. Yes. And also, he should have let you stay in there if you were comfy. Well, I had to get somewhere. Oh, okay, I guess so. I'm so complacent, you know. Um, I'm glad you're good. Now, are you? Well, I'm feeling better. I think I'm ready to go in another day or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You see... You see... Did, did you see a tall, red-haired lady come in here a few days ago? Oh, yes. I've been hearing all these crazy stories about her. Yes, of course. She was remarkably distinctive. Yeah, no, like, here she was doing all sorts of crazy stuff. What kind of crazy stuff did you see her do? Well, I saw her walk in, and then she left with a bush and a robot. That's so crazy. That's so her. That's so like her. Uh, did, did, did she, like, say anything or, like, talk yes. to anyone? Yes. Talk to anyone. What did she do? What'd she, she spoke say? to the innkeep. You know what she said? I do remember that when she was done speaking with him, he looked as though he was in something of a trance. Wow. 
Was that not a red or even pink flag? Well, I try not to interfere with other people's business too often. I'm not very good at uh, putting myself in such positions. I've tried before and, well, that's how I spent a year bedridden in Thaliost. Interesting. A year, huh? Yes. How'd you get out of that one? Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I got better. I waited until I was healed. Well, that's good that you, that eventually happened and that there are no lingering effects. Oh, there are. Oh. Such as? My gastrointestinal issues have become quite severe. Ah. Uh, I hear have in, you... uh, there's an office in Sharn, you can prove it, and they give you a little card that lets you go anywhere. I have No, 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 no. Have you tried coffee enemas? I have never tried never to put tried. a towel up my ass. Why not? Uh, yeah, why not? That's never good found one. the occasion. Well, some people swear by it. Hmm. It's a, shame. it's a good wake me up after a couple of um. Because it sounds like you have chronic Lyme disease. No, it's just I was stabbed in the stomach and now my intestines are somewhat disrupted. Yeah, no, no I think that's chronic Lyme disease. Oh, perhaps. Is the knife still in there blocking the shit? No, Ooh. I took it out. It just badly scarred my intestinal wall. Oh, uh, okay. I say... It sounds unpleasant. Yes. It is. The doctors don't want you to know about chronic Lyme disease. I suppose not. I've never heard of it. Mm. The doctor's guild is connected to the Lyme guild. And then, of course, in Eberron, Lyme disease comes from Lyme's. It's true. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so... Ticks give you lemon disease. The... So anyway, stay away from 5G towers. Um, and also, so she talked to him and then she went upstairs? Yes. And he looked all weird. Yes. Did he do anything after that? No, he just sat there for a while. Did he walk in with, did she walk, sorry, did she walk in with a green person? Oh, yes, as I recall, she did have a orcish traveling companion. Ah. Had you seen him here before? Yes, he was staying here, as I recalled. Weird. They aren't supposed to be friends. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I try not to judge. Did you, did you hear them talking at all or anything else? Hmm. We're like friends now, so. That was me rolling to see if I had. <laughs> um, retroactively. Yes, I actually do recall. Oh my gosh. Often I can appear like wallpaper in some places, so I have learned to be a good listener. You really stand out to me, though. Hmm, well, you are unusual in that regard. Well, we were made to be friends, that's all. Hmm, I believe that to be true. Anyways. Yes. When they approach the stairs, <clears throat> I do believe, um, she addressed him, uh, no, he addressed her as, uh, Lady Kesselmai. Did he just say her name, or was he like... No, they were having a conversation, although I did not understand the language. I don't know what languages he knows, but <coughs> might not have been a language he did know. Okay. Hmm. He didn't leave when she left, right? Oh, he certainly did. He did? Yes. 
He left when she left. He came down the stairs and walked out that back entrance right there. Oh, he just walked. Yes. Portal. I'm going to go to bed. I'm falling asleep right now, so. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Not an item. The item. What? Weird. Okay. Hey, thanks, Warren. No problem. I'm happy to be of assistance. You're a big pal. Oh, well, I'm glad. Um, keep doing everything that you're doing. I intend to. Don't get, like, hookworm or whatever because of your feet. Problem. I won't get it again. Yeah, you keep saying that, but... That's what I said uh, after the third time. Well, at least you're consistent. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna Perhaps go I find my... convert them. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. I need to go find my friend who was kidnapped now, oh. so... I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope you find him soon. Yeah... This li life's like that sometimes, isn't sometimes it? Sometimes your friends get kidnapped. I should know. You should. Why should you? Well, I had a friend who was kidnapped, of course. Oh, was it today or yesterday or when no, was that? No, it was in Thalios. That's the time I got stabbed in the stomach. Oh my gosh, and then you got chronic Lyme disease. Yes. <laughs> but it's all Man. right. He's a governor now. Yeah. Well, anyway, I hope your liver gets healed. It um. Won't. Yeah, because of the chronic Lyme disease. On it. Yeah. Yes. Um. Anyway, you you should try some uh, breathing exercises. I'll certainly um, try. Yeah. Or at least try breathing. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. This this session's for free. Um. Thank you. You're I welcome. Have no money, oh. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably me neither. Uh, all right, so uh, take care, Warren. Bye. Bye bye. I tell everybody this story of my story. I am enraptured. Yes, but more importantly, Zan didn't he, it didn't portal away. He just walked out the freaking door. Yeah, I noticed that detail. I know you were right next to me, but I needed to tell it to you again, personally. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Zan was the one who has the ship, who was doing all the different phases, I guess, then. Which is weird. No. No, you're right. That is so weird, huh? Yeah. I can't believe she made him start doing that. Yeah. I, why would you do she that? She probably has magical powers or something. I don't understand why you would do that. You just, why don't you just make? Why don't you just choose one fake face and stick with it? Come on. Yeah. No. Exactly. It must be super psychic powers that uh, she made him do that. I don't understand what you mean. What you mean? She made him do that. Oh, okay. It was like a spell or something. Zan's evil. No, he's fine. Yeah. Zan is evil. Grunko. Grunko. Grunko doesn't mean Grunko Zanzibar Grunko doesn't even we we didn't even say Zanzibar. Hold on. Is that his full name? Zanzibar. Zanzibar's evil. Chicken flies into the portable hole, roots around in Vothnak's pockets, flies back out, pulls down like a little screen. <laughs> And it's just pictures of Zan with like conspiracy theories all over it. And it's just pointing to it with a little point. Grunko! 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 I guess Zan really was the Grunko. But to be honest, okay. Yes, he is a sleeper agent. And yes, he should be stopped. Um, Homestever, uh, I have no idea what that face thing was about. It's really weird. Yeah. Um, I don't know who these people are, but uh, I'm gonna. He's my boyfriend. I am going to profess confidence in the loyalty 
of Zan. And I will say that he is underdress and not evil. He is underdressed, you're right. He needs... He's made of flesh, he's evil. His extra shirts were in that bag. Yeah. Oh my god. He was only- he was wearing only two layers and at this time of year... He's gonna die. Have exposure. I recommend you exited so wearing only nipple tassels. Uh, something about the way you've talked about- He only about... sleeps in those, that's weird. He was I wearing like... nipple tassels and a, a mesh shirt. <laughs> and a nightcap. And a something nightcap. about the way you've talked about Zan so far makes me think that he wouldn't be able to pick up a gravy or ranch fountain and therefore <laughs> would be likely to die of exposure without clothing in this weather. <laughs> yeah, and he just walked right outside the door like it was nothing. Okay, uh, this is where an arrow desk, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, south from Errol Dusk, does that lead? Does walking out the gates lead to the fucking train station? Um, <clears throat> the train station is in that direction. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, okay, we could, we could ask at the train station. Yeah. If they saw Bush, Lady, and... <laughs> you bet I did! <laughs> Uh, yeah. They're like, what does that mean? I'm gonna. I don't know. I Baked get... beans? I don't know. Bush or something? I don't get it. I think they all, all the guards in this town have identical ticks. <laughs> We're all bitten by the same tick. We infected us. And you got lemon disease. Talk like this. We all have it. We all have Lyme disease. We go okay. down to the train station. We, we go, go down to the train station, the Tangala station. I go and meet Tane. He's my new dancer. All right. <laughs> you head down to the train station. It's pretty quiet. Um, not a lot of people, honestly, coming in and out of Errol Dusk, and there's no train at the station at the moment. Um, but there's a there's like one like old ass man who seems to be like the ticket taker here and he's just like eh, you look at me get a ticket <laughs> he's old <laughs> he's really old oh my god you want Hello. a ticket, a did, ticket? You see a red did you see a red haired woman with a plant under her shoulder hey, you'll have to speak up sonny did you see a red-haired woman with a plant under her shoulder come onto the train? A red-haired woo-woo. Well, you see, Sonny, I lost my ability to see color in the war. <laughs> but she had glowing eyes. You can tell glows. Oh, the lady with the glowing eyes. Yes, of course I recall. The plant? Holding a plant? Yes. Uh, she carried it all the way here. Nothing's just got that magnetic person. She walked up, uh, bought a ticket, gave Two. it to the plant, and walked away. Where, on, where was the ticket to? No, it was a ticket to Sharn. Who wants to go to Sharn? The place is on fire. Uh, I guess she Melvin's sent uh, the plant home. I guess you could call Melvin a plant. Hey, um, hold on. Are you lying? Am I? I think she might have brainwashed multiple people. But, uh, I don't know if we're gonna we get... We see if the man is lying by asking him. Am I a dirty, dirty liar? Why are you saying it like that? Am I, I, a look, him, I look him right in his eyes and I ask him again. Are you a damned... Damn dirty fucking liar. Am was I? that story was that story true? Insight. Wait, okay. You wanna do it? I have a good insight. Yeah, do it. That's why I'm able to read the room and make frowny faces so efficiently. Twenty modified. Well, what you understand for me is that that's true. 
It's Shuki's lying. Wait, no, no. so she... <laughs> okay. Do you want okay, to take it for a bush? She yes. was entirely alone? Yes. Except for the bush? Oh, he, shit. He believes what he said. Did you see an orc you know, guy with shaggy hair no, at I'm all? No, afraid I did not. Never. Okay. When she left, where did she go? Back she into went town. south. Um, yeah, she went she out went the front south. door. Zan went out the back door. Oh, is that true? Right. Okay. Well, of the I didn't. Inn. Of the oh, okay. Inn. There's right. two doors, front and back. And everybody just stared at the the redhead tall lady. Everybody stared at like truck. the the most distracting person they'd ever seen. <laughs> Yeah. And Zan went out the back door, and we I, I forgot to ask and about it. Okay. stopped changing 50 times, I assume, probably, or else they could remember that. You know what, let's ask. Anybody see a man with a changing face? I, I, I just work at the train station, Sonny. We have to go back to the end, fuck. I hate the end. Do you want to kiss me? Why? I'm lonely. Okay, I kiss him. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. He's got a way I see it. disease or a curse. I feel no, no, no. It's just kind of weird. It makes me feel nothing, so why not? I felt something. And now I've won some rapport with the old man at the train station. Hey, this is important. This will come in handy in Act 4. Yes. <laughs> We're fighting he, the he'll change the rail direction. I'm going to change the trolley to hit the one guy. I'm gonna Which do one that guy? Train. It's a mole. Oh well, yeah. Mole? I mean, it it is, yeah. And the to the kill, other side to kill was, a bunch of people. The other side was Zan and Zoe and uh, a plant and. <laughs> Plunt, dunt, cunt. Oh, you know plunts too. And Everybody ag, knows plunt. And um, and the ag good plant? part of uh, Grand's soul. <laughs> is what part is that? Is it the underground? Is that bad or good? The underground's the good one. He uh, wants to kill everybody. <laughs> free them from this suffering. From this hellish mortal coil. Hmm. Can we have gone back and looked at the inn and be like, where, where'd the orc go? Um, I mean, uh, Warren told you he popped out the back, and if you, uh... If he was probably the only person so... Yeah, I mean, you can look, and I mean, the back door just leads out into the street behind the inn. Okay. Uh, could we ask the guards if an orc left the city? Um... On the north end of the city, go to the north gate, we ask the guards. You can you can certainly attempt make a pers I guess I guess we're doing persuasion still make a persuasion check. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, seen a lot of orcs, you know. Uh, I mean, Shaggy not hair. Like a lot, a lot, but you know more than. You know more than. Five, I guess. Uh, uh, was there anything particularly? I mean, I wasn't really paying too much attention to orcs, you know. Just an orc. Who cares? Okay. Like a shaggy hair one. Yeah, not that I really remember. One that couldn't move a ranch fountain. I think I'd remember an orc that looked like a pussy. Yeah, right? Okay. I, so there was this other person that was, like, changing their face all the time. That was really weird. Did you, like, see that person leave? I definitely would remember some fucking weird shit like that. No, no. Like, that's, like, nightmare shit, right? That sounds bad. I don't like it. Yeah, it seems like it sucks. Hmm. Yeah. So, any l ways, um, I guess there's, it's still in the city. I go to, are there any plants in the street behind the inn? 
Yeah. Mm, nice. A, there's a few. I speak with plants at the plants. I go, I say, hello, your boughs are looking lovely today. Um, the plant says, thank you, darling. Very nice of you. How can I help you, cutie? I was wondering if you'd seen any very weak orcs or people with changing faces. Oh, yes. I remember I saw a weak, weak orc walk out of the back of that building there. Which way did he go? Well, he started to walk in a westerly direction, and then he wiggled his eyebrows a bit, and then all of a sudden he looked like an extremely nondescript human man. Can you explain in what way he was nondescript? Well, he had brown hair and brown eyes and a chin. And there was nothing at all that was notable. Well... I mean, I guess he was moderately handsome. Moderate? What was he wearing? Was it the same outfit the orc was wearing? Oh, yes! Can't change his clothes. And what was it? What was that? Was it a mesh shirt? Uh, no, it was some sort of like a, a blue uh, tunic. Okay, thank you. And he kept going west. Yes. All right. You're the, you are the greatest plant who has ever lived. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm. And now I'm going to follow that direction and occasionally ask plants if they've seen somebody and follow that trail until they find out where he went. Yes. Grove, yes. 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 Make a, make a, now you make a persuasion jerk. Archive. Archive. Hmm. 1d20 plus zero. Here I go. Not 20, but I love plants, dude. You get an ironclad reading on the most generic looking cocksucker in the world. Wow, he looked like a cocksucker. Um, <laughs> a little bit. Um, uh, walked around the city a little bit, did some circles, you know, circled some blocks. And then headed uh, back uh, down uh, a southerly and uh, bought a ticket and got on the train. Dang it! Okay, was the ticket to Sharn? The, the plans don't fucking know. Yeah, he asked, he asked the guy at the train <laughs> the station. Rapport, the rapport you built! I use my rapport. Hello, welcome back, my friend. Hi. I've got another question for you. Oh, well, maybe I'll have an answer for my favorite little friend. The question is this. Here's the question. An extremely nondescript human man wearing a blue tunic walked up here and bought a ticket. Do you know where it was to? You'll have to be more specific than that. That could describe like a thousand guys. He had brown hair and brown eyes and a blue tunic and was moderately handsome. Ah, oh, yes, that certainly narrowed it down. He came out of the I south. I mean, none of that <laughs> color stuff helped is the problem. I forgot that you're colorblind. <laughs> I'm sorry, because... <clears throat> I've just been... Most of the things that you said were relating to color. He came out of the south gate at around this yes, time. Yes, most do. This is south of the city. Uh, you're at X time. And and then I detail... Uh, uh, I go back to the plants and ask them if there are any non-color details they could give me. Like, is how is his quaff done? They got no fucking idea. Um... Uh. Hmm. I'm going to, you know what, just just make a D, you roll a D20 to see if this guy remembers it. I love D20s, here I go. Six. I don't fucking know who you're talking about. 
That's okay. Right. That right. could be like a hundred. Listen, I love you and your lips are soft, <laughs> but I could not possibly discern from your description of this factory made man <laughs> if he what? approached me or not. <clears throat> the it's understandable. The shrub got on the train the same time as the man. Well, no, he, they he, left separately. Yeah. Oh. Did he have a particularly notable nose? I ask. Uh, uh, the plants say uh, it was uh, certainly capable of smelling. Um, definitely positioned roughly in the center of his face. Um, mm -hmm. Probably non-deviated septum. Now, now, what about his stance? His stance, because he's kind of an awkward guy, right? Is his stance was he... uh, 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 would be described as a man standing. A weak-looking man. Mm, relatively, relatively uniform. Did he have any facial hair? No. Or his eyebrows thick, thin? Is there a... No, mid in the middle. <laughs> what was his hair like? Uh, high and tight. High and tight. <laughs> and you'll know the average Eberonian goes for the low and loose nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> the low and loose? I want to look that up. So let me see what... <laughs> Careful. <clears throat> I'm just getting wavy hair. I'm just getting low fades. Mm. <laughs> hey, what, what about his tunic besides color? Uh, was it shaped? Uh, like a torso? Was there a cool, uh, I don't know, the bottom of the tunic that did it shape out and like point out in a, in a way that you could r remark upon? It, it definitely hung out over top of his pants. That's pretty cool. Did his pants look, do they have pockets? <laughs> uh, presumably. Uh, was his fly down? Yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> He was hanging brain the entire time he was walking around town. Okay, so we got we get that side answer. His shoes. Did they have laces? No. Were they slip-ons or sketchers? They were loafers. Okay. He was wearing look. Old man, he was wearing loafers and his fly was down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. And his hair was high and tight. <laughs> I don't even know what high and tight means. He's fucking gone. Where does uh where where's all the places this train goes? Is it the red line or the orange line? This line, uh, well, it goes uh, north onto Sigil Star and Flame Keep, and then it also goes south to Vatherin Star Alaska, and uh, eventually Sterngate, Zolenberg, and Korenberg, and then uh, goes to. Uh, 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 Hatheril, uh, of course, S F F Sword Keep, Fort Light, Passage, Fairhaven, and Thaliost. And then, of course, uh, the line to Root and Sean. Root. He's in Root. So the bush went back to Sharn. Yeah. He is. I think they all went back to Sharn. It's likely, because I don't know why they would... Why do they want Melvin to begin with? Is it because he's special and lovely? Lost an, an example. An example uh, it's because Melvin is a brain war. I think that... 
I think that his brain damage has made him a valuable asset. Somehow his <laughs> structure of his mind is unique. Thank you. Dirk's thinking you're talking to him. <laughs> I know I haven't been very right helpful, now. but I I wouldn't mind another. Too late, I already kissed him on the cheek. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Loves it. Ticket to Sharn, I guess. Yeah, I buy it. I ticket. have Zan's stupid crap in his suitcase. <laughs> he got his suitcase and his his uh, memento. The vile yeah, trigger. His favorite rock. thing. His favorite thing. He sings about it when he's dancing through the fields. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here is a few of my it's favorite things, and every line is just about the fucking the thing. Rock. same thing. <laughs> the feeling rock. <laughs> the feeling rock. Okay, well. Well. No, I'm broken. No. We get to get back on the train. Yeah, I get on the train. I buy the cheapest seat. Have you have you ever been to Sharn Grove? No. Cool. This is gonna be fun because we're wanted. Ah, by the is law. Dirk wanted as well? I forget. One for steerage. Oh, yeah. One for steerage. Ten for sweet. Hey, sweet. guess what? One yeah. do one dollar for Dirk's gonna pay the ten, ten. for the other. No, Dirk, Dirk is in a suite. Dirk, careful. Just try not to separate too much. We're gonna fucking. Come in. Does someone want to come with me? I'll pay for it. I don't care. Uh, um. Yeah. No. Let, let's let's at least keep some of us together. Pepe does. With... Pepe. Okay. I, I was about to say I'm with Dirk, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. Pepe, you want to go Pepe's with Dirk? With... That's fine. And okay. No, you can Pepe go with Dirk. Go with I just yeah, thought it would be yeah, funny no. to stick I Bird like in the room with a uh, psycho sure again. <laughs> no, it's been better to keep the psychos together. Yeah, you may be right. <laughs> keep the evil guys on the same in the same group. This is gonna turn out great. I have extra drugs. It's a long plane, long train. For me? Oh wait, or, or, wait, it's you. Jane? I'm a psycho, not not. Oh, Pepe. I thought we were Peppy. Oh, Peppy's no. just evil. I'm a psycho. I'm I pay for Pepe's steerage because he's not here. So there we go. I glint. take one gold coin from Gron's. Uh, Ooh, glint. Court. Ooh, trap. Tough trouble. This is a Thrainish uh, vessel going back into Braylish territory. According to Thrainish conductors, you are cargo. Oh yeah. Okay. That's free, it's right? Free. free. So you and nineteen. They have to pay for you to go stand in the cargo bay. <laughs> okay, so I pay 30 bucks for each bag. How much is cargo? What? It is actually cheaper. Uh, it's Good. a gold for the pair of them. It's five silver per. Great. Well, yes, it makes sense that it costs less to check a bag than it does to buy a ticket. Yeah. I pay for that, too. Okay. Uh, Nineteen gets into like the back cargo car with, um, with fucking uh, Glint and says, "So tell me about those uh, ideas about a warforged hierarchy again." <laughs> I was about to say. So what was that about uh, equality? <laughs> Let's revisit that. <laughs> and as the train, as the as the guy leans out the side and he goes. Choo choo! And then lightning starts up instead. Um, Wait a minute, Dirk. We can be in cargo too. Yeah, you could also be in steerage. That sounds fun. Yeah. Wait, wait, I asked him, can I be in cargo? I'm sorry, it's a liability issue. We can't uh, put you in cargo. Last time. But I'm a, I'm a changeling. Yes, I know. We don't uh, discriminate against your kind. Are you sure? Well, I mean, I do, but, you know, 
<laughs> tell him as a general warforged. rule. Tell him you're a warforged who looks like a non-warforged, like you're an android. Um, I'm a, I'm a, listen, I'm a warforged, but I'm changeling presenting. Ah, I see. Well, uh, that makes more sense. Uh, but wait a second. I have to do a little bit of a test, if you don't mind. Sure. And he takes a little wand. I don't smell anything. <laughs> I, that's not what I was going to do. <laughs> he takes out Sorry, a wand. Sorry, I can't taste that. Uh, and he just sort of wiggles it up and down in front of you. And goes, hey, well, what's little, little campagna? <laughs> and, um. I send out EMFs. Uh, he puts it away and he says, I'm sorry, it appears that you are not a war forged. Uh, this is oh a test God. we do to see if you, uh, uh, have a soul or are a, uh, a husk built for war. <laughs> what? He Where made up a test to deal with the insane person. Listen. <laughs> Here's my soul detecting wand. Wait, 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 wait. I was built to kill. Well, a lot Start of people were, but that doesn't forged. mean you're a warforged. Wait, really? Yes. Wow. Where were you built? I was built in a womb. The what? <laughs> the womb. <laughs> the womb. Keep telling and give him a break. A womb. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. I hate you. I fucking hate you. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Now back hey, into wait, your wait. cabin, please. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What about Dirk? Can he go into Carter's? I've already paid for my thing. Can he go into We're not doing this. Look I'm taking him. Peppy. Look, look how short he is. He was a failed Ooh, unit. I'm kidding. I'm not taking Peppy. He's, he's, uh, he's suitcase size. He's defective. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, a company policy says that uh, whatever he is should die, but it does not say <laughs> that he's an object. <laughs> like if we saw that in the uh, streets, we normal. should shoot him. That's more there, we right? never he turn away paying. a paying customer, of course, but if he was in steerage, he would be dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, actually, um, I do want to state, uh, those My are... parents are famous. Those are uh, Warforged life. that we mm -hmm. had put into cargo. They're actually musical instruments, so ah. we need them. We want to buy tickets for them. They're musical. Because they actually, they're musical instruments and they mm. can't, they can't stand the pressure. I down see. there in the um, cargo, so well, we need to buy. We need to musical buy, uh, instruments would also go into cargo. No, 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 because they can't stand the pressure down there. There is no so pressure. So we would, we would it's like the same amount. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. No, listen, listen. We want to buy tickets for them. Hey. He holds up a finger and just sort of like taps at your lips. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Arrivederci. <laughs> <laughs> My instruments are damaged. I'm gonna sue you. You see him uh, uh, walk down, and he, as the train starts to get ready to pull away, he walks down and he pivots and he walks off the train and he walks back into the streets. He didn't work here. <laughs> the train pulls away. <laughs> 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 He's just a volunteer. <laughs> this is the guy. Um, and the train pulls away from Arrow Dusk, bound for the city of Towers. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Eberron this evening. We knocked it out of the park this time. We boy. knocked it out of the park this time. I hope Folks. you all enjoyed hearing the trials and tribulations of Warren. Um, that's gonna be <laughs> all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see what happened next time. What happened to all their friends? We'll What's see that? what happened to our friends. We'll see that, if they're dead what or not. What that bitch doing? What's going on? We we'll see. Who knows? Uh, all right, that's it. I'm done. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.